Does that work? There we go. I didn't see the thing moving, so I knew I was muted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome to TPK Roleplay. Uh, tonight, we continue our series of rotating one-shots, wherein our brave band of adventurers continue their work with the Harper faction to investigate mysteries within the realm. Tonight's adventure is Lost in the Mistwood by the wonderful Zeke Gonzalez, available on DM's Guild. I am Luke Locke, and I will be your dungeon master this evening. Players, if you want to go around and introduce yourselves. Yes, hi, I'm Osara X. Franco. I'm playing Rory, uh, the half orc monk. Uh, GM, I think our overall. I think moved. I think we're we're a little switched. <laughs> Who moved? No one moved. No it was one. Not I. No one. You were all set before. Okay, so let's see. You need to go down here, and you need to go right <laughs> here. Hello. And then there, and then there. Good. No. <laughs> I don't know. I know. <laughs> I'm scared. Musical what a character. Okay, so we need See, I'm in the right switch. place. There we go. There we go. Good? We're good. How many times did I check it? Okay. <laughs> good, I, good, good. I don't know, but we're good now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's me, Sir Heckelot. You know, I will be playing Lenore, the Air Genasi rogue. It's Tony. I'm back with Tarlo, the half elf rogue. Everyone, it is Tyrant, uh, back with Luke, the human warlock. Hello everyone, I am Turk, I'll be playing Ulrich, the human fighter. Hey, Ikash the York here, and I'm, uh, I'm going to be playing Kabu, the, uh, the goblin artificer. Alright, you guys have received new mission orders through all of your Harper's contacts, whoever they may be. Uh, let me pull them up for you. Hold on. You received a letter saying enclosed is a notice board posting requesting aid. Please travel to the small timber village of Oak Hollow. There, you can rendezvous with a few members near the southern edge of the Mistwood on the outskirts of the village and investigate the issue. Safe travels. And enclosed was a small notice board posting that says, Urgently seeking aid from adventurers. Please find my wife, Veld, and ensure her safety. She was last known to be ranging in the Mistwood, but has not returned. I will offer two potions of healing and ten gold pieces to any who can safely return my love to me at the Three Ladies Inn. Alma Clearwater. So, all of you, having received this, have traveled northward towards the small timber village of Oak Hollow. Uh, yeah. I'm right right to assume that uh, we were told to meet here. We're not traveling together or anything like that. Yep. Time. Correct. She, did you leave after the last mission? Well, it's it's been close to three months, so yes. You didn't want to hang out with us? It's a bit rude. <clears throat> Um, the... As you guys arrive, you will all see each other, though. Rory, Luke, Ulrich, it's so nice to see you again. <laughs> it's been almost a hundred days. Hey, it's Tarhai. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to... I had a thing. I've been thinking about it for three months. It's Tarhai. Whatever you want to call me. No, you got you got to correct me, please. I've been thinking about this for three months. I get it. I get it. I get it. He gets right, it. right, Talo. Just just say now, it's Talo. Just free us from this prison. <clears throat> you see, you get it. It's tar high and tar low. That's. I think that's the joke he's trying to make. 
Anyway, it looks like we have new people here. Yeah, right. Ty! <laughs> As you arrive, you will see a, a few uh, people that you have not seen before. Um, and Sir Heck and then Ikaj, do you want to describe to us what the others are seeing on this small road outside of the village? Sure. Um, so... Yeah, as you guys are walking up, you see a, a pretty average height, lithe uh, humanoid, uh, mostly cloaked um, in a rather large black cloak. Um, though you can see a couple uh, locks of very long black hair spilling out of the hood. Um, but uh, as uh, this figure turns to you, uh, you see a face of an Ergonazi, kind of bluish skin. Um, very uh, thin-ish features. And um, I should just turn to you and um, say, hello, um, my name is Lenore. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, are you the Harpers? Ah, uh, yes. It's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. I'm Tarlo. <clears throat> uh, nice. I'm Luke. Uh, I, I guess we're the Harpers, yes. Um, We've we've all done one mission together already, but um, you're supposed to say pleasure to make your acquaintance. It seems they're both doing it. Right. This so is anyway, no we've 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 done this mission thing before. Are you here to help us out? I think so. Yes. Cool. Cool. Uh, and you are. Uh, which you see is a three and a half foot goblin, big ears, wearing goggles. He's actually carrying, like dragging behind him. It looks like a metal uh, treasure chest, oh, but it has wheels and he's actually got a handle that he's pulling it by as it rolls behind him. And on top of it, you see what looks like a crap at first, but as it gets closer, you actually realize it's, it's a phonograph with crab legs and pincers that's just sitting on top of the chest as it rolls along. And uh, Kabu is dressed in uh, a fine, like, purple, you know, dark-colored purple leather coat with purple furry trim. And uh, he'll walk up and like, hey, yo, hey, how's it going? Yeah, the name's uh, Kabu Dell. Uh, uh, yeah, I just got sent up from, uh, from I guess, research, if you want. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's good to be here. Well, pleasure to meet you. Nice to have you as well. What's, what? what's your specialty, Kabu? Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man of, uh, of uh, uh, brains and bronze, but mostly the brains. But, yes, uh, another funny. one. Another what? You don't look like a goblin to me. Oh, another intelligent individual who loves the scholarly things of life. What the yeah, yeah. I'm supposed I... to mean. Yeah, well, hey. Wait a second. Uh, it's. Tarai, what the hell? Ulrich, Rory, it's no offense on towards you. It's just. It's... Be a little bit offensive. I tried to make a joke with you. Oh, of course, I mean funny, nothing but... by it. I apologize. All right, tire high. Awkward. <laughs> uh, what is that interesting little device of yours? Oh, this is uh, the mobile phonograph uh, Mark III. I call it MP3 for short. How wonderful. Uh, say hi to everyone, MP. And he just, and the from the phonograph comes a little like jaunty little tune. Intriguing. How does that work? Uh, quite well, actually. Ah, I see. Another sense of humor. Very nice. Oh, and uh, I, I'm sorry. You said your name was uh, Lenore, correct? Correct. Uh, what, what, is, what is your speciality? Uh, she takes out her daggers, does a couple spins. I've got these uh, as well as these, and she takes out a deck of cards and just like very well, like, can just spin them around her hands and do kinds of tricks. Good. Uh, Tarlo, it seems you're in, uh, fine company on this mission. Of course. Oh, I'm, as always. Right. Uh, Rory, Ulrich, are you okay? You look a little... Uh, everyone uh, just seems to be insulting intelligences today. No, no one. Who did that? I'm not Look, stupid. Ulrich, I'm I'm dumber than a box of rocks, my friend. You you all are right. much smarter a than I am. Box of rocks is pretty hard, alright? 
Hey, a box of rocks has its uses. No one's complaining. Exactly. See? Yeah, you knock your head against a box of rocks, the box of rocks is going to win. Anyway, it looks like we're supposed to be looking yeah, for I, an individual. I have no idea what we're doing. I got a note here from my parole officer, and he sent me off to get my mission. I mean, my contact with the hoppers. Well, you're in the right place, my friend. All right. Well, I will go ahead and uh, let you all take the lead. I'm still uh, learning the ropes as they say, so uh, you just uh, tell me what you need me to do. Right. Um, well, we, we all received this this uh, poster, this bounty poster. Not exactly bounty, but um, I, I believe we should go find uh, Alma Clearwater. Um, we're supposed to find their, their wife. Um, and so probably the best place to look be to first track them down. Missing persons, I can get it. Let's. In the middle of this, you are going to trip on a rock and fall face first into the road. Oh, no. uh, getting a <laughs> mouthful of dirt. <laughs> However, when you stand up and kind of spit the dirt from your mouth, uh, <coughs> you will feel like this kind of feeling come over your body. And you can now uh, earth glide as if you were an earth elemental. <laughs> Thanks to devs. <laughs> Thank you, devs. This sounds awfully familiar. This sounds mm, familiar. This, Are you okay, this, one of me? Or... <laughs> Rory will walk over and just kind of grab him, like put a hand out to help pull him up off the ground. Right? Oh. Ugh. Watch the step there. Oh, it's cool. No. Got a little, no. Uh, no, like, eh? Yeah, you gotta watch out. See, box of rocks. Except it's a big box of rocks because it's the earth. Well, just a bit more. It's, it's the world. Yes. All right. Yeah, it's earth. Let's let's <laughs> continue on, please. Is there so, a? Uh, oh, for please. all of you, uh, you will see ahead a cozy inn sits nestled on the outskirts of a forest, blanketed in iridescent mist. And I'll show you it. And you will see outside there's a kind of notice board and you will notice a slender woman with long hair uh, and you can't really tell much out else about her from this distance. Uh, she seems to be pinning something up to the board. Uh, is there like a sign saying what the name of this inn is? Yes, if you were to get closer, you will see there is a sign that says the three ladies inn. Oh, interesting, because I'll just take like, this paper and like, mm, yes, this is quite the area. Good. Uh, Luke will approach the lady, uh, the person holding this sign. Um, Hail, uh, we are here for a um, missing person. Do you know where we could find Alma Clearwater? Uh, she will turn to you. And what you see is a striking woman um, with long, wavy hair, though it is unkept. And she has two different colored eyes, and she looks tired and worn, with dark circles under her eyes. And there's a few scratches on her cheeks, as if she was going through the uh, forest and, like, not taking care. Uh, her clothes are... Uh, she's at least slept in them two days. They're rumpled and stained. And she will look at you and I am Elm. Did are you responding to the to the notice I posted? Uh yes. Uh we are members of a faction here. Um, you are adventurers. And, yes. By the Harpers. And you are willing to help uh with with my problem. A magnanimous dispensation. Yes. Oh I That's what we do. Thank you. So I've tried going out and looking myself, but I, I don't have any... Uh, my wife, you see, she, she can rain. She's a hunter, but I have no skill with the forest. All right. Well, uh, the mistwood is uh, rumored to be dangerous, um, but I think we can handle it. Do you have any idea where uh, your wife would have gone off to? Any uh, I, normal I just... hunting grounds that she frequents? I, I know that she was attempting uh, to get a, a special breed of, of flowers. Our anniversary is coming up soon, and they are quite deep within the forest. But she said she would be back after two days, and it's been four. 
and she's never hmm. late. Well, right. my friend, you are in good hands. Oh, thank you we'll so find much. For you. I, I have I have uh, healing potions if you need them, and I and I will gladly pay you upon uh, upon her safe return. That's quite mm. wonderful. But while we're out, uh, it seems like you should probably take care of yourself a little bit there, my dear. She'll get, look get down as if rest. realizing for the first time that she hasn't like showered or probably eaten in like two days. <laughs> And just oh, uh, yes. Um, I'll I'll uh, I'll I'll make sure to um, change or something. But uh, please, are you traveling now into the forest? If you could give us directions as to where this rare breed rare breed of flowers would be, that would be uh, most helpful. Give us a direction. Supposedly, they are in the the center of the forest. They they only exist in myth and rumor. Um, but if you if you want, I have her. Uh, I I went home and found some of her hunting maps that I can I can give you. That would be fantastic. Yes, um, thank you. And she will give that to you, and it'll give you a plus two to all survival rolls. Uh, if you were to use these to traverse the natural hunting hunting trails in the forest. Hey, mm. So which one of these is myth, and which one's rumor? I I'm sorry. You say it was in myth and rumor. I'm just wondering whereabouts those two places are uh, uh no um I, I, they oh they goodness. they exist only in in myth like um like they like, uh, i've never seen oh them like before. like 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 stories i yes sorry um, don't be sorry Ulrich. it's fine okay she's gonna like kind of look a little concerned for a second and then like take in your armor and your weapons and be like oh, okay <laughs> it's fine <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Right. Right. Well, uh, ma'am. Reading it stereotyped. <laughs> Bambo uh, squad ma'am. has arrived. <laughs> uh, just a quick question. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, hate to bother. We're happy to happy to do the work. Happy to uh, oblige the job. Uh, however, these flowers, if the, they don't exist, um, if you don't mind my asking, why would she go looking for them? Uh, well, supposedly they do exist. They were they were in this story I read as a girl, and I love them. And she knew that, so she was going to try and find them. Uh, they're supposed to be in the in the center of this forest. How wonderfully romantic! I know. Uh, oh, um, I do have. I I did I did manage to sketch her. I was going to post it up on the board, but if you are going now, I shall give it to you. Of course, that would be even more helpful than your maps. And she will hand you a sketch of her wife, uh, done in charcoal. Um, I, I, I meant to do more of just a basic sketch, but I, I did get a little carried away thinking about her. But uh, she has um, intricate tattoos all up one arm, um, mostly leaf and vine, uh, leaf and vine patterns, um, and she has a very long, like sandy, sandy blonde hair. All right. You said this was just a sketch. This is quite superb. I I did, I did uh, get a little lost thinking of her while I while I drew it. That's beautiful. You should look into artistry. Yeah, you can make quite a coin. Artist, yes. I, I do. I do hope you find her and that she is okay. I'm sh- I'm sure, I'm sure she just uh, perhaps got lost on an unfamiliar trail. Of course. Sure. Well, if. This is all the information you can give us. Uh, we should make haste. I know that yes, every please. second we we waste is, you know, one second wasted. <laughs> so. Yes, thank you. Uh, it, uh, there's there's trails leading into the forest just right behind the tavern that I'm sure you can uh, start on following her her trail. Her map. Uh, thank you. Thank you again so much. Of course. All right. Might we might we ask about those healing potions now, rather than oh, later? of course. If you think they would aid you in your in your in your quest to find her, you may have them now. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, she will fate, she will hand you give two me these healing potions. Great, thanks. And Rory will take them, uh, and <laughs> just pocket them. Uh, turn to the rest <laughs> of the party, and we can sort them out later. But okay. we'll fine by next. me. Thank you. Thank you. 
again. Now go get uh, some rest. I, yeah, I'll I will be here at the. I'm not going to go into town. I'll be here at the tavern. Um, I'll and I'll 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 wait for you here. All right. Thank you again. Of course. Uh, Rory, smart thinking there. How how many healing potions do we get total? Just two or just two. Okay. And they're common, right? Yeah. Yeah. They should be. All right. Well, we have a map. We have a description. Yeah. If we need to, I got a little bit of uh, medical know-how. So if uh, you things too. get a little tight. Yeah, just a tip. Yeah, just a little bit. Once right. they get a little farther, Rory will take them out and just take the two of them and hold them out uh, to Lenore and just say, well, I won't, I won't be fucking needing these and might as well have them, let the newbies take them. <laughs> oh, you can't just call someone a nudie. It's, it's fair. I don't, no, no offense. Uh, and he'll start to blush as he realizes that, like, this is now an awkward situation. He's just gonna thought it'd be nice and I listen, take him listen, and carry on. We, we are all still a little green around the gills. <clears throat> it's a bit no offensive. No, yeah, I, I also take that a That wasn't very sensitive of you at all. I just take a Fence. I also. Okay. Have we got something against the emerald skins? I have nothing oh, against. Like it, right? I have nothing. Really, we are capable of skin. Think before you talk. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. So uh, I assume as you uh, you're gonna follow the trails. So there's actually quite a wide trail that looks like it's uh, a wagon uh, that maybe uh, quite a few hunters use to cart pelts and and carcasses back to the tavern to sell for game and whatnot um so you can kind of start on a, on that though as you travel on it you will notice it eventually fades out and becomes just smaller game trails um but let me pull you over oh oh geez <laughs> hop and nope. hop. misty road no nope. <laughs> <laughs> And you don't. I need to fucking hit it. Uh, but as you follow the hunting trails deeper into the mistwood, uh, the forest namesake is obvious. Pearlescent mist obscures your surroundings, and the moss covered trees loom overhead, forming a thick canopy that blocks out all but the faintest light. The call of birds and insects fill the air, and small animals rustle through the underbrush. Ooh, fancy. All right. Um, has anyone been here before? Does anyone have expertise in navigating through the, the wood? <laughs> I, uh, oh, I've traveled in my times, but not here in the Mistwoods. I, I think I could get us a bearing, but I'm not into, I need the map for sure. You have the map. You're the one that got the map. <laughs> I have the map. Is it really that hard to see in here? <laughs> it is a little misty. Yeah, very uh, creative with the name, the people that named this place. So Kabu, please tell me, what does, what else can your little contraption do? Oh, Empy? Oh, we could do a few things. Uh, hey, Empy, uh, uh, hop on their shoulder. And uh, the like cone where the music comes out, like goes up and then kind of flowers out and then starts rotating really quickly. And then it starts to hover and fly and it lands on your shoulder. This is completely, unbelievably entertaining. I've never uh, seen such a thing in my life. It's a, it came to me. Right there, Marvel. He's, uh, I, I got some other things in mind, but uh, for now, I think MP is a uh, Mach 3 is pretty great. So, oh, you made other ones like this. Well, there was Mach 1 and Mach 2, but uh, I don't like to talk about them. Oh, it's understandable. I will not pry. I don't want to implicate myself in nothing, but uh, yeah, we don't talk about Mach 1 and Mach 2. Mach 3, though, success. Ah, uh, yeah, very much so. Good to know. Sorry. Uh, you happen to step pretty close to one of the trees, investigating, like, how this mist kind of shimmers. Uh, and some of it kind of swirls around your arm. And good table number two, <laughs> that I didn't know existed until now, 
Uh, you now have advantage on performance and persuasion checks for the next 24 hours, which I'm sure Rory <laughs> will find extremely useful. Great. The talkative, outgoing person that they are. Um, <laughs> no. Can we, as a part of that, uh, as he was kind of examining the treats, I think he was trying to look and see if, just narratively, my role shite, but uh, he was trying to kind of determine they're all talking, he's got a job to do, gotta go find this lady, trying to look around to see if he can find any indication of which way she went or any of that kind of stuff. Mm hmm. Uh, um, and I would, I with the map, I would try to either help Rory or do my yeah, own you thing. roll with advantage, Rory, since he's like over there with the map. Like, no, no, this here. Do you see this? Okay. Um, you don't notice any uh, obvious signs of what would be Velda, Veld right now. Oh my gosh, I almost, I'm too used to it, you guys. Hey, it's hey. in my brain now. Yeah. Is that a third there, there, I was fine until French, one of a, you said something oh and then there's it was a, in my brain. There's a French speaking rogue. Like, I mean, what do you gotta do? I'm really so close. Mm. Um, Interesting. GM, GM, GM. Another good table. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lenore, how did you do that trick of yours with the cards and the dagger? What the practice? Interesting. Speaking That's about of it. All right. All right. Yes. You also are going to feel uh, enlightened by this glittering mist. Uh, it almost like tastes sweet uh, in your mouth if you were to take a deep breath in. Uh, and until your next long rest, you gain advantage on all wisdom, perception, and strength athletics checks. You have advantage on deck saves. Your move speed increases by 10 feet. And you use an action to make a melee attack. You can use a bonus action to make another melee attack with a disadvantage. <laughs> what kind of godsend please... good table was this? I <laughs> good air. However, you do not gain Fight? any of the benefits of your next long uh, rest, including like, taking ooh. a level of exhaustion. Ooh. Yeah, I would much rather well, super take matter. Oh, well, can we fucking trade? I'd much rather. <laughs> I'm really tired. One second. So thanks, Dev, for that, for making my fighter. <sighs> can you can you post all those good things? Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> Rory, Luke, did you guys happen to find that trail yet? Nah, that sounds um, very nice place. Rory, you are fine with that roll. Not any obvious signs of felt. Um, however, you are going to notice um, the mist uh, kind of parts away a little bit, and you will see. Um, let me pull this up. The iridescent mist glitters in parts, revealing a cracked boulder overgrown with lush vines. Inscribed <laughs> on the stone, in rough common, is the phrase, For a beloved companion, lost in a vicious tea kettler attack. Beneath this is a simple carving of some sort of canine. Uh, can we... Can I get that just like in the chat, GM? Mm hmm. So I don't have to keep asking you what it says. Mm hmm. Do we all see this? Yeah, if R Rory were to stop and stare at this little cairn, um, you guys could also come up and see it pretty easily. It is pretty overgrown by moss and vines, but uh, once you notice it, it's pretty easy to see. I is fucking weed rock. What is a tea kettle? Roll a history check. Oh, a history check? I'm an expert in that. I'm then probably going to flood it. probably know this. Oh, Ooh. 27. All right. You read about know these. that a tea kettler is a monster with the body of a dog, a hard shell, and hooved feet, which hunt and communicate in packs with high-pitched whistling sounds. Um, and you recall that legends say that tea cuddlers are the creation of a drunk wizard trying to create a creature that could make her tea. 
A very strange I remember creature. reading about these. I thought these were only a joke or a myth or something. I didn't think these could actually exist. Apparently not. So what, do you think uh, trouble's brewing? <laughs> Can I give him disadvantage for that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I get it. Hmm. It's clever. Be on the lookout. Or, well, be on the ear out for whistling. I have the fucking note. Wouldn't hurt him. Well, I don't think we heard anything yet. Uh, I can make well, it. I can... When we find him, right? You see, there's things that you. If you punch certain places, right? Makes me go down faster. All I'm asking is do we know? Never fucking heard of these things. What can we do to hurt them? Yes, Luca, what can I what do I what do my big brain knowledge know? That's all you really know. Boo. Uh well because they're so unheard of, really no one knows. They thought they were just little stories to tell children. Go for the neck. It's usually a pretty good spot. But I would say that they have a hard shell of a body, so if it sounds like it's supposed to be some kind of a tea kettle... Cut at the neck, that's one most circulation will Perhaps go, go with the head. Oh, the head is where all your protection is. Neck's got, you know, all the vitals in it. Well, I'm not much of a fighter, so I'll, I'll probably Carry leave that on? up to you two. You two did very Christ. well the last time. Gonna just walk out. <laughs> Start mm -hmm. walking away. Any... <laughs> Following, I'll, I'll pull out my crossbow and just kind of have it at my at the ready. Like, hey, I just I know if you put enough arrows in something, it stops. So I'm just gonna do that. Typically, he's got this crossbow that's covered in like gears and springs. Oh, did you make that yourself? Ah, uh, yeah, of course. This is a Kabu special. Interesting. Your handiwork just, is grand. I just bit my tongue. Mm. Oh no! It's gonna be fine, but oh, I thought you meant I you thought you meant figuratively, you. not literally. Nope, literally. I just did my seat just bit through my tongue. Mm. Like, Oofy doof. I'm just gonna uh, swallow some Luke, blood here. It's <laughs> Luke is gonna walk up to the cairn. Is there any evidence of people visiting the cairn at all? Um, there is not any evidence of people visiting the car. In fact, it appears extremely old. Okay. Luke will just wave his hand uh, about the cairn a little bit, clearing as much dust as he possibly can and dirt and whatever using prestidigitation. And then we'll flick his wrist and um, a few, let's say, hydrangeas appear like a bushel. And he'll just lay it down in front of the can. Okay. Anyway. Hmm. Should we... Let's not linger. Right. Yeah, right. That map that you got, does it have any, like, uh, uh, stops for campsites that they might have put down or anything like that? Let me consult on that. And if you would like um, to roll with, you know, as you continue to search, you can roll survival again to try and see. As you continue uh, traveling, if you notice any new trails. Or yeah, 21 for me. 21? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you are, uh, like, looking at the map. Um, you will actually notice just the smallest little marking of, like, a little mound of stones. And you are able to orient yourself, uh, realizing that she's put little landmarks on this map of hers, um, including that cairn. And so you are able to find a trail uh, that seems relatively well-worn, um, as if someone humanoid has used it more so than game. Looks like this might be our path. Um, and you'll no. notice all around uh, the trail, vines uh, bearing large pink buds wrap tightly to the trees and undergrowth. Hmm. Can I check them? Yes. What would you... You want to roll... Let's see. A nature check for me? Sure. 
Ooh, the pretty. 24. Oh, okay. So you will notice uh, these plants and you will recognize them as high blush. Uh, or queen's blush, sometimes they are called. Um, and they make a high quality incense that is required for lots of spell casting. Um, oh. However, you do notice that they can be quite poisonous if disturbed. They release kind of a, a very poisonous uh, pollen. Do Would I happen to know how to harvest it without causing that issue? Yes, uh, you would need an herbalism kit. And also, oh, yes, you what would I need to uh, cover your mouth and probably spend at least 10 minutes delicately harvesting them using the kit. Oh, 10 minutes? It's a very intensive, delicate process to not disturb them while harvesting them correctly. I'm going to make a mental note to come back here for a little bit of this. Okay. Because last time we're like, oh, we want to spend 10 minutes and we kick a door. <laughs> and you kick a door. Um, hey, you can open the door. Uh, I can kick the flowers if you want. But, uh, I will say, be careful of these wonderfully beautiful flowers. They can be quite toxic and when you inhale their pollen. So don't inhale. Got it. But then uh, You all are going to <laughs> hear... Uh, after traveling alongside these tracks uh, that Luke has found for about an <laughs> hour, you feel the mist wood beginning to close in oppressively around you. The thick canopy looms over you. The glittering mist coils like a serpent. And the vegetation grows brighter with iridescent hues of red, green, blue, and purple. A high-pitched voice rings out. What you mortals doing out there? Chasing that lady? Wanna take a break to play a little game with Pinkshine? Pinkshine? That's quite an interesting name. Who's there? Oh, it's Pinkshine. Yeah, I think said. it's Pinkshine. Uh, <laughs> can someone roll a perception for me as they Player. look around? Okay. Can more than one person do so? Yeah. See if you notice where this voice is coming from. Why not? All the dice. Ooh, ooh, ooh natural 20. Okay, so oh, everybody shit. above nice. a 14 is going to notice. Um, natural what? Fake creature. Click on the image. Oh, fake click creature. On, at the top of that window, click on image. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, <gasps> ew, that's not oh. pink at all. That's horrifying, Carl. It's so pretty. Uh, it's the like branches. Pink <laughs> I had that as yes. a kid. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, flitting through the branches nearby is this creature, and he appears to be smiling at you, though every time he smiles, you will notice he has abnormally large teeth. Um. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's fucking horrifying. I don't be like, like that. You chase the lane, and he will come down and flip right in front of you. What you doing? Is this true? I mean, yeah, we're, we're chasing the lady. Have you seen the lady? Yes, the hunter lady. That's the one. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Though, I mean. I'm not just going to tell you where she went. I won't play a game. I've been watching you for a little while. I'm kind of bored. What kind of game? This sounds quite entertaining. Oh, I love games. Fucking I love games, games too. <laughs> uh, well, sure, what, are you we consider not playing a game and perhaps I... continuing on our way. And I oh, would like well, to wait. <laughs> I'm, I'm with Rory on this one. What you shouldn't play games to play. What do you got? Let me see you. Let me... Anyone want to smile? For, nope. for being shy, Carlo, what do you got going oh, on? Carlo always <laughs> smiles. Ah, oh, those are good. Those are good. Those are good. Despite, I like those. Despite his best oh effort, Rory's, are you speaking my Rory's teeth? Tusks are still out and obvious. Mm, despite the pointy his ones, I, I really like those. Those are good. Pointy ones, oh. you don't come across those uh, very uh, willingly, uh, giving up very often. Uh, hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. 
I'll give you the information in exchange for a tooth pulled. Or, 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 you know, you can do a, like a riddle or something dumb like that. But, uh, you know, a, 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 a tooth would be great. Hmm. That's a fun game. Please do not give this creature any of your body parts. Luke, 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 Luke. It's fine. I'm actually interested in this riddle you speak of, though. Oh, you want the riddle? You know, well, I want to part with one of your shinies. They're good teeth. Good. You look like you got good teeth there. Is there a reason you collect teeth? Well, well, yeah, man. I'm a tooth fairy. He's a tooth fairy. Oh, oh. oh, I've only ah. heard of your now kind in storybooks. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I don't do a whole lot of work out here, but, uh, you know, every once in a while, every once in a while, yeah, I come across some good ones. It's a very interesting And he's there. called Pink Shine because your teeth shine when they're. Oh, well, wait. Shine when they're. You yeah, don't think too hard. You got a. You want to smile? I can tell you a joke. You want to smile for me there? Yeah. Hands up. What are you doing? You want to smile? Show, yeah. me, show <laughs> me your teeth. He'll, he'll, he'll smile. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I not feel bad. like Pink not Shine bad. just like. Not bad. It's like a few are oh, no, definitely good. knocked out. <laughs> Those are good. That's good. Right, so we do in fact. You get some good one? coin for those that uh, you lost there. Uh, I don't know who your guy is, but I mean, you know, I I leave some some pretty good trinkets. This is fucking Mr. Ridiculous. Pinkshine. I got a question <laughs> like, for I'm you. So... If I don't answer your riddle correctly, what happens? All right, all right, all right. We'll do a riddle, and he's gonna. This whole time, he's just kind of flitting back and forth manically uh, between all of you. Um, he's like, all right, you ready? You ready? You ready? I got, I got a riddle. I got a riddle. Uh, the, the riddle is, I have many teeth long and fine. First I touch your head, then I drag down your spine. What am I? Are you a comb? Oh, well, you're no fun. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm pretty good at riddles. I read books for years, and let me tell you, riddle books are quite fun. Yeah, all right. And he's gonna just kind of like hover in place for a minute and stop playing. Well, all right. I mean, tell I us tell where you. the lady is. Listen, if some, you would please. some of those freaky twig people, you know, the trees that come alive and go like ah around. They they're servants of that creepy old guy who lives in the cottage over there. And they took her. She was camping uh -huh. and skinning some animal she caught. Hmm. And uh yeah. Um, the, the keep site's that way, where she was taken, and I think his cottage is beyond that. Same direction? Yep. Yep. All that way. All right. You sure you don't, uh, say you don't want to part with some teeth? I, I could give you something for it. You know? I think we are sure. <laughs> Not Mr. Pinkshine, if I find any good teeth for you, I will be sure to bring them right to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you, look, you just around. call out, like, hey, Pinkshine, I got some teeth. You know, like maybe like take some sticks and whack them together and see if I can hear you. <laughs> of course, of course. All right, all right. Well, this is kind of boring, but uh, you know, good good luck. No teeth for pink shine today. And he's gonna flit <laughs> off into the the branches. <laughs> Are you satisfied, uh, Luke? I didn't give him a <laughs> Well, that was scary as fuck. <clears throat> It's yeah, painting. Well. I've only ever heard of fairies and old children's novels. Right. Well, the old children's novels that you read in your your youth typically don't match up to the uh, real deal. You know, teeth, teeth fairy, tooth fairies. They rip the teeth out of children. They don't. They don't give you money for it. Hmm. Hey, this is a you fairy tale for you and your kids? Jeez. You're offering <laughs> us coin for our teeth. Ulrich, you are more than welcome to do that if you want. No one's stopping uh, you. I, uh, maybe, not. maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> not today. I'll be all right. I got a good smile. You do. Uh, it's quite wonderful. I'm, I'm currently, currently uh, very attached to my teeth right now. So. Thank you. <laughs> Tar hi. <It's> our... <laughs> Follow. Sorry, in the middle, too slow. Hey, ah, we did. There you go. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, let's not dawdle. Uh, all right. Um, if you continue in the way that Pink Shine painted, 
you can come to a small glade. And within that small glade lies the remains of a campsite. <laughs> Let me bring you over. Hold on. You do not have token with vision. <laughs> so Let's just drop additional pie the token logs. vision. What do my elf I see? <laughs> not shit, because you, know you got no vision. For knowing your audience, <laughs> you must okay. construct a vision of my lots. That got me. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey. I can see. I can you fight. Can Look, see. look, look, you're specialized. My, My brand! brand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's friendship for you, too. Oh, hey. You, got, you guys know me it's so like well. The best, that's like the best thing to do with, look, look what you're special. It's, it's so, I, it's so um, good. It's um, great. Okay, so, uh, you guys, within this small glade, Lies the remains of a campsite. The coals of an extinguished campfire are scattered across the clearing, and the tent is torn and ruined, and crimson blood encrusts the emerald grass. Drag marks in the moss and soil lead deeper into the mistwood. Hmm. So what's right, the plan? We go. This? We gotta yeah. rough up an old guy. Is that what we gotta uh, do? You guys are gonna have to. If you head northwards, yeah, Roy's map, gonna you just go walk. Look at the right up to where the bloody grass is and crouch down to try and figure out what the hell happened. Yeah, mm. roll uh, investigation for me. Okay. See if there's anything still in the pot. <laughs> uh, 19, Ooh. GM. Yeah, uh, there is stuff left in the pot, by the way, Ulrich. It's mostly crusted over and blackened from being left on a fire until it died down. Um, and 19. Uh, okay, so you are going to be able to tell, um, you are going to find Veld's pack. Uh, it contains two rations, a canteen of water, a short bow, and 12 arrows, 30 feet of rope, a bouquet of gray whistle lilies, which are soft, large, silver lilies uh, that if you twirl them at the base, make a soft whistling sound. Um, okay. hmm. And a well-worn and carefully folded sketch that you will recognize as uh, Alma. They Seems draw the each other. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Can I get the name of those flowers again, GM? Gray, gray whistle. Silver lily. Oh, gray gray whistle. whistle lilies. Because they whistle. Huh. These two um, are very talented artists. And then as far as like the, the bloody grass and everything like that, do I need to make a different role for that? Nope. Um, you will discover two small sets of footprints with splinters of dry wood embedded in them. And uh, you can tell that they circle the camp multiple times before running in from opposite directions and apparently dragging off their quarry. Right, well that's the fucking way to go then. And Rory's just gonna stand up and start moving in the directions of the claw marks. Carla will just like, no, oh, no, I didn't investigate him. Nope. <laughs> All right, so just we we keep on going. Are we still what's sniffing the, what's the plan? Sniffing <laughs> hey, the Roy, you'll call back over your shoulder. This and stop in that pack. I think she found the flares, but whatever fucking took her, took her this way. Oh, Carla will just like kind of grab the bag and bring it with them. Okay. Is the, is the food really bad or <laughs> I it's mean it's mostly charcoal. just like charcoal at this point with a few crusted like vegetables and hunks of meat at the bottom Ulrich I really wouldn't if you were really that hungry I'll cook you something when we're done how about that I'm just jacking that's not gonna eat anything it's, it's fine what's gonna uh, eat it do you, are you hungry? I think there's a couple of rations in here. No, 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 no. Ulrich, if you if you want something, it's not just... the same. It's not the same. Don't everyone go babying me. 
Okay. Oh I was offering to cook you a nice meal, but is is can... Ulrich still is Ulrich still like root, rooting around in the bag or whatever the food is in? Well, I was looking at the pot. Yeah. Uh, Luke is just going to subtly wave his hand, and there's going to be a nice hefty chunk of steak in there that's done really well and it just it looks looks like it's still fresh see it's perfectly good food in here it just randomly magically appears when i want it oh, and I go and grab oh, it Rick. <laughs> my friend i don't suggest eating that I it's, hold it's fine it's fine hold it aloft See? Just like the magic thing. I'm just gonna take a bite. I at this at that point I was like, okay. Roll a constitution no. check for me. <laughs> Make this constitution check count. The stakes have never been higher. The uh, <laughs> oofy doofy. Not too. How Six. many oh how many God. will there be? <laughs> oh. Oh a two? you don't have any pluses you a two? Use? He has a plus two, but I don't think an eight's gonna help him. <laughs> well, what did what did he what did he eat? The thing that I summoned? I thought yeah. he was eating what was in the thing. No, no, no. I took out the summoned steak. Oh. Yeah, so the summoned steak, just for clarity, is okay. steak. Except it has no nutritional value and it will disappear from your stomach after a certain amount of time. Oh. So <laughs> Ah. It's like weird. like when you eat in like a dream world, you know? A super model diet, yeah. So it's, it's like having Chinese food. Oh my god. Um, oh, more okay, things. so since you failed your constitution check, Ulrich, you will uh, involuntarily shout Beth! and then uh, continue standing there. What? A magnanimous dispensation. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I don't know, I just felt like the right thing to say. Wait, wait! Jeez. I didn't hear. I didn't hear Ulrich say. Bang. Bangarang! Okay, thank you. I'm now it satisfied with to my be care. A little quieter, if it is. What's just the took? What does what took? Bangarang. <laughs> just felt like the right thing to say. Rory, good. does the blood trail keep going that way? Rory's gone. Rory's head left. Rory, does the, Rory's 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 the blood trail <laughs> keep going <laughs> that way? Right? Right? When Rory gestured back over his shoulder, did some shit in that bag, and kept <laughs> going, it's because he like feels confident he knows where this lady is. He just fucking landed. Rory didn't want to bite. Rory, don't be by yourself. Really Speaking of magic food, I think I found uh, these five magic cookies in my pocket. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You got that cash for your for your pun. Um. <laughs> All right, so Ulrich's done eating his his dangering food, yeah, yeah, gonna, and then hurry uh, after. Rory oh, you is... gotta try this. <laughs> um, and then uh, the rest of you, the mist billows upward, and the sound of turning earth surrounds you. And clambering to standing positions from beneath piles of undergrowth are three moss-covered collection of twigs formed together to look vaguely humanoid. But are they beyond the undergrowth? No. No. Got them. <laughs> Wrong show. It's Next the right Tuesday. Show. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I don't think these are friendless. Uh, and that's not a good assumption. Oh shit. Let's go There's ahead so and roll initiative. I uh, oh. might we not? Might we might we you consider uh just letting us be? Yeah, so can you do not <laughs> 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 That's an eight. <laughs> Solid. If you turn it sideways, it's now infinity. Uh-huh. Do I, do I just click initiative for Oh, no, there's no active combat encounter, so. Hold on, hold on just a sec. The madame has to make a combat We need more Vespian gas. Stop it. You, you require You're not just going to clean fire. up on I'm inspiration. Not, it's okay. <laughs> but God fine. damn that mess. I was like, no. I just need to build this one thing, please. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. So, let's see here. Oh. <laughs>
Rory, we're all gonna be our... I did, I did, I did, I did, sorry. Sorry? Go. Oh, good thing I'm last. <laughs> I'm not much of a combat-focused character. Kabu, you are up. <laughs> Alright, so Kabu turns around and he, like, kind of pulls a lever on his crossbow. And he's like, hey, how about a little fire, Scarecrow? And he uh, casts Excellent. Firebolt. Oh, you he guys, casts... these references tonight are killing me. <laughs> Inspiration! <sighs> oh, 21 nice. to hit. That will hit, for sure. Yes. Okay. And 7 fire damage. Oof! Ooh. And which one? Which one? Uh, that would be... That one, okay? Yes. Seven. Okay. And then he has a MP3. He's like, get behind me, but hey, help out, buddy, if you can. No, nah, man, he goes up in, in uh, flame. Just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, and there's nothing left of him but, like, burned twigs on the ground and uh, soot. And That's then, not so uh... bad. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, let's see here. Let's go to this guy. He's gonna come up. And he is going to attack. Uh, watch out, Kabu. With his claws. Pretend to hit. Misses. Misses. Yep. All right, then this is a little guy. better than that. Yep, we'll approach. <clears throat> and again, he's going to attack. He's just going to sweep forward his claws and try and attack. I think I made him angry. Oh, uh, 12. Misses. <laughs> Help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just like slightly Robbery. just dodging and. Uh, Rory's going to uh, turn around and see these things coming out go, ah, fucking hell, and turn and just sprint back uh, at dead speed, no holdings bar, shoulder down, and try to slam into uh, this guy. Uh, knock him away. Sorry, let me get my right thing. Doop. Uh, and try to kind of tackle that creature away from Kabu. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever I need to do to strength or what. Strength, yeah. Okay. Uh, would it be athletics, perhaps? Yeah, that's fine. Sounds like a shove attack. Yeah. A uh, 15. Let me see what I can do here. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh! Natural twenty. Oh wait, hold on. I'm on private. Let me uh, let me do this. Oh wait, no. <laughs> Plus two, seventeen. Well, I uh, I rolled a natural twenty, but minus two. It's eighteen. Damn it. Uh, so uh, he will tried. stay. Uh, like his his uh, feet will just kind of dig down and root gotcha. into the ground, and he uh, will not move. Rory's gonna then just like not being able to move it is going to then bring a knee up and slam it into its chest uh, with an unarmed strike. Okay. What did it do? 15 to hit. Uh, that will hit. Nice. Uh, for seven bludgeoning damage as he just brings it up into the chest cavity as hard as he can. Oops. And that is my turn. All right. I guess it'd be more like right there. It is also just going to splinter apart. And be no more! Oh. These things seem a little too easy. <laughs> scary. <laughs> All right, mm. you're up. Hey, you know what? You want to know what you don't say is that these things are too easy. All right. Uh, I like it. Ulrich finish. <laughs> is going to, with his enhanced speed, literally just vault over the uh, camping setup. And as he does, he's just going to like turn and toss. But already catch it. It's really good. And uh, throw the stake at Rory. Um, <laughs> Rory will, Rory will like put a hand out. 
fucking. <laughs> um, and then he is going to um, get at the back of the stick that's swiping at Kabu, and he's going to lay into it with uh, longsword things. Um, do uh, natural twenty. Oh, that will hit. It's good to know. Uh, for twelve. Yeah. Um, that again. It is just going to splinter apart. Uh, you guys are out of initiative. Hmm. Well, Zeno, we are here. I ain't Quite excellent kinda. fighting, you three. Kind of super weak. Ah, uh, I was nothing. Rory's it's... holding the stake that Ulrich tossed to him, and they'll give it a sniff. Uh, is this fucking real food? <laughs> Seems it was. Weird. It, it was in the pot. Oh no! Sorry. No. Luke will wave his hand and let's stay with the spear. What? <laughs> <laughs> that is so the most entertaining trick you'll have to learn that right now. Day. <laughs> Listen, I was trying to make you feel better, uh, Ulrich, but we're in the shit now. Um, that seemed a little too easy. Let's keep our eyes open. There's bound to be more around here somewhere. GM, okay. mm-hmm. are there just the twigs just on the ground scattered everywhere? Mm-hmm. Uh, Rory would bend down and kind of like, or he'd kick at him with his foot and bend down and try to like sort through them, uh, seeing if like what the hell they were because they came out of nowhere they died super quick just kind of mm-hmm. as a like what the hell is this okay uh roll hmm roll a, a performance m- check to see how well I pick nature. up the <laughs> bend and nature <laughs> check I mean, it seems to be some sort of like awakened tree type creature. It's definitely plant like. Uh, hmm. I would guess that someone is controlling it. These look like those things that uh, the pig shine was talking about. That was my next question is based on my role, the claw marks that were like the, the, the thing being dragged away, does this look. Like yes, the this is dragging? definitely similar to the thing that uh, Pink Shine was talking about. Oh, so, right, well, we can. Seems like he can punch right the fuck through him. Shouldn't give us much problem. And it seems like we got to go this way. So, all right, and he'll nod, stand up, and just proceed on through. Uh, lead the way. Seems like an easy enough job. We gotta go to a cottage and beat beat up an old man. I say we do it. Uh, maybe not beat him up. Perhaps ask him a perhaps. few questions. Well, we just gotta get Vel yeah. back, right? So if he is willing to let her go, I have a few questions for this kidnapper, alleged kidnapper. <laughs> not really fucking alleged, is it? He points hmm. at the ground with the claw marks and the blood. <laughs> Well, these don't look like old man claw marks or old man blood, but what there's only way man... one way to find out. Let's, uh, let's yeah, let's let's uh, follow the drag and uh, we'll we'll put uh, beat up old man on the back button. How about that? What do old man claw marks look like? You don't know? No. Interesting. Hey, you gotta stop letting them tease you so much, eh? They're teasing me. Mm. Must be rude. That'd be very unkind. I'm pretty much. I'm not the one teasing. We gotta go. We gotta go get some. We gotta go get Bill. I gotta think about that. I love these quiet, awkward moments with you all. <laughs> I hate them. I uh, fucking. I hate them. <laughs> it's not worth I, hating, is it? I'm with you, Roy. Um, this is quite entertaining. <laughs> All right. So, uh, which which way was the dragon going on? All right. This this you way. <laughs> I knew there would be a dragon. Rory was on the session. trail. Yes. Uh, you guys are able to uh, continue on on the trail. Um, and someone, uh, Rory, roll another survival check for me as you follow this path. 
Loki. Are we, still get, are we still getting the plus yes. two from the map? Yep. All right. So advantage plus two, Roy. Oh. Uh, a 19. If I add the two, that's 21. Do you want me to roll again? Nope, that's fine. Okay. Um, up ahead, you are going to see a meadow of blue and indigo flowers and thin silver trees with red leaves. At the far, far edge of the meadow is a small cottage, and it's supported by a tree with shaggy bark and heavy boughs that drape across the roof. The branches groan with the weight of the bright turquoise berries that sprout from the tree instead of leaves, um, and warm light flickers from the cottage's single window. Rory will stride up to the door and knock. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Rory, um... No. Nope. Ulrich's right there, up there with him. <laughs> oh. First I am showing you the berries. Lenore. And then I am going to show you the cottage. L Lenore, would you, would you mind hiding? Uh, she was, some... she was already starting to do it. <laughs> she was already starting hmm. to hide. Uh, Tarlo. <laughs> just, they did that. You as well, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll yeah, jump that, in. That's literally what I was about to say. It might be best if we have someone that's good at talking. Oi, Rory, I got, I got a plan. Right, that's, I'm, I'm going we're up just going to talk. We're going to be fucking weed yeah, no, yeah, yeah, got... got... about this, Mike. Yeah, all right, but I got a thing. Right? I've been thinking about it. In the bushes. It's very clever. Right, well, oh just fucking ask a few questions and get the fuck through this, eh? All hmm. right. Um, <laughs> let me move you over. Uh, but before we do that, we are going to take a break. Drama. Mm -hmm. Suspense. Suspense. Yes. Banner, banner. <laughs> uh, okay, switched you over. Okay. Um, before we continue any further. Uh, short, short break, short break. Heck, here we are at this cottage, surrounded by turquoise berries and silver trees, uh, in the midst of the mist wood. Uh, and what are you guys doing? Rory is knocking on the door, quite polite like, like you do when you in, when you go up to a stranger's home. Mm -hmm. Oryx standing there with him, insistent that he has a plan. <laughs> I am uh, glad that they're knocking. Lenore? <laughs> Lenore is hiding yeah. in bushes somewhere. Yeah. Luke hid behind his uh, tree stump. Luke would join Lenore. Okay. All right. Like over here or something. Uh, Lenore, could I to bother you for a moment? Um, can I'm going to be unable to see you around me for just a certain amount of time. Could you please make sure that I don't die? I think I can do that. Okay, uh, Luke will reach a hand out, outstretch a hand, and the, um, the raven, uh, Timor will appear. Now, listen, no funny business, just go join that conversation, and for the love of literally anything, do not attack <clears throat> our friends, please. Uh, and Timor will just kind of squint at Luke and flutter away off and land on Ulrich's shoulder. Hey, all right. Well, I have a bird now. Ah! Timor! I recognize that. Um, and Luke will put a hand on Lenore's shoulder and uh, his eyes will go pitch black and uh, Timor's eyes will grow a vibrant uh, amethyst color. Oh, I got pretty eyes too. <laughs> yeah, talking to you. We're gonna go ask the nice man if he has a hostage. <laughs> You're gonna hear an elderly uh, man's voice from inside, Rory, say, uh, yes, hello. <laughs> Who's there? All right, it's uh... We're here, we're here looking for a missing person. Uh, might you come to the door, have a bit of a chat? I'm doing a survey. Oh, I'm, oh, 
won't Get find me things. off in no? it. Yeah. And you're going to hear some, like, scooting back of, like, what sounds like a heavy chair. And uh, someone kind of shuffle over to the door and open it up. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, come in. Oh, right. Well, I won't be needing it to come in. Uh, we just uh, hear there's a, a hunter who's missing. We followed some tracks uh, back this way. Yeah, we're just looking for a name's belt. Didn't happen to see it. A uh, hunter? I, I don't think I've seen any hunters. But do, do come in. Uh, it's it, not really. It, it, it would be so nice to have uh, have guests. You know, old bones like these don't nope. get uh, mm. guests very much. Do yeah. not let them take you to a second location. Yeah. <laughs> Never follow yeah. the hippie to a Check. second location. Vibe. <laughs> not not uh, uh, not not essential. Uh, if you, if you haven't heard, you haven't seen any weird trees about. No. Uh, well, uh, other than my. My beautiful silver trees. I don't know if you notice they're not. They're not natives. I, they're from the Fey Wild. Um, some delicious uh, berries. You might want to try them. I make a tea out of it. It's quite delicious. As soon as Tyler hears they're from the Fey Wild, he just immediately the Fey Wild. You say? <laughs> fucking hell. Well, this is going. Another goddamn delicious. I I am cords. Uh, it's wonderful. Please come in. Uh, sit down. Sit down. I don't fucking need to go inside. <laughs> it's, it's entirely unnecessary. Uh, we're just here. Looking He's gonna this. ignore you and walk back inside <laughs> out of your earshot. Can Kapu kind of like sneak around the house to see if there's a window like over here? Uh, yes, he can. Then All roll right. an investigation for me. All right. Uh, do you want me to do another stealth check? No, you can keep yours. Okay. Unless you want to. <laughs> it's uh, up to you. Wait, Lori, you might have to go in. There we go. Uh, you don't have to... I, he doesn't know what the fact we're talking about. Right, but uh, he wants us to go in. Maybe we can uh, ask Talo, him a few don't fucking go in. Talo. You're, 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 uh, we Rory, go in. You that way, will he's... Hear, you'll hear Tarlo say quietly in Orc, it'll be fine. Tarlo, as you enter this room, a small cozy room makes up this little cottage um there's an iron bed frame that you can kind of catch a hint of in uh in the other room there uh and it's covered in a patchwork quilt and it rests uh in the corner rests a teapot that's steaming over the small fireplace flanked by two small piles of kindling and hanging in the eaves and the rafters are dozens of life uh, sized wooden puppets <laughs> oh boy um gross Ooh. and bad <laughs> yeah. uh tarlo's gonna go grab the uh velds or er, sketch of Veld from Alma and present to like, have you seen this beautiful woman? Oh, and he will squint at it. Oh, oh, oh I think I've seen her about uh, uh, about it. I've seen her about. In fact, I uh, modeled one of my, one of my beautiful uh, creations. Uh, and you will notice sitting on one of the chairs is a beautifully carved wooden puppet bearing a striking resemblance to Veld and carvings of vine and leaf patterns up God the is. arm. I'm getting right, mad it looks courage. exactly like that one. I'm getting yeah, mad, Curse the Cowardly Dog it, vibes. Call it uh, inspiration, you know. Hey, you got him, like. She had the letter though. How did uh, how did you manage she's, that? She's quite uh she's quite uh you know, I've seen her around. You know, but uh you know, it was, it was God, hard so getting crazy. the intricate carving you know, size those uh those tattoos. Right, but you like nailed it though. How'd you oh, get it so I good? Think, oh years, years, years of skill. Uh Kabu got a my... twenty one investigation, by the way. You will notice uh, a window. It is quite dirty, 
but uh, if you were to uh, look through it, um, you will notice just inside is the bedroom and just dolls, wooden puppet dolls everywhere. My good friend, what did you say your name was? Cords, Cords, Cords is my Cords, name. Cords, Cords, Cords. Cords, my good friend. Did this young lady come by here recently? Uh, come by here? Why no? And he will take a sip of tea out of a chipped teacup? Rory would like to insight. Yes. Yeah. I'll, Tarla would also like to vibe check the yeah, shit out of this old queen. decrepit man. 21! <laughs> Ick. Five. Orix just kind of focusing on the uh, the puppet. He's like poking its face. He and checking is out. gleefully lying with sinister intentions. Uh, okay. Um, he is definitely sinister. Doesn't care if you know it, and is having a ball. My good friend, it would be easier for both of us. If you would just tell us where she is, and we could be on our way. Well, now why would I know where she is? Would, more, would you like some tea? I'm so uh, Let me find some more teacups, and he will get up and shuffle to the cupboards, and and get out some more chipped teacups for you all, and hold up the tea kettle. Uh, uh, tea for all, all of you. Would you like some tea? These berries are from the Feywild. I grow them on my trees, you, you, how do you, you know. How do you, you how do you do these puppets things? And he's kinda like grab he's like starting to grab the, the puppet. Oh careful, careful. The they're hey, they're but... quite delicate, you know, custom custom isn't easy, you know. Quite right, a bit but of like, work went into the to he's creating waving, though. He's well waving Del's arm like how do you do it though? Isn't shouldn't there be like strings or something? Oh, you know, I, uh, I, I, uh, the strings are really just kind of more in your mind. You know, it's really just the creation itself. Right, but you got them all on the rafters, so are they hanging by your mind? Oh, they're, they're waiting uh, for the next time I put on a show or, or I want to entertain you myself. You do shows! And he's still holding on to the, the puppet. You do shows! All right. Oh, yeah. When does that happen? Oh, well, whenever I get bored, uh, which, you know, uh, quite honestly, a young man is uh, fast approaching. Well, Not to say about? you aren't a delightful company, right. but well, it's uh, the night. this has We're gone a good on time for Rick. a long time. Put, put, the, put the old man's uh, his, Tea? his creation down Anyone? there and we'll just tip off. Huh? Would you like some berry tea? I was going to like wander back around the corner and just kind of look at Rory and give him a shrug. <laughs> it's, a, it's blue berries. Rory does one of these at Tabu. Uh, question. Uh-huh. Is there any way for me to know if these berries are going to fuck me up? <laughs> roll. Uh, roll a nature check. Or history. I will allow. Hell yeah, we'll go history because I'm an expert. <laughs> We're gonna add the plus two that I got from chat. Make it a seventeen. <laughs> uh, seventeen. So yes. yeah. So you would recognize these as hangman's berries from the Feywild. Uh, Sound that, pleasant. Uh, a poisonous berry which causes suffocation, um, or it can be made into a tea that petrifies those who drink it uh, to wood. Hmm. I just like I was like how delightful of you to offer us such a decadent and so hard to get berry from Feywild. I brought it specially cultivated the trees here myself. To get Which is even more interesting that you were able to grow them here. Say, you're a oh, nature yeah. guy, right? You know any of those? You know any of those uh, stupid little twig things that are bumping around here? I'm sorry, young man. Your question is confusing and boring to me. <coughs> He's gonna turn back to Tarlo. You like the tea? Would you like a sip of it? Oh, after you, I would hate to impose. I, you know, and he's just gonna take a big gulp of his and then grin at you. 
It's delicious. Can I? Mm, did he, though? <laughs> you want to inside he check his thing? sip? Hmm. Very no, suspicious no. sip. Hmm. Uh, just like it's that. Hey, Ulrich, Ulrich, might you come here for just a, just a moment? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll bring it on. I'm still carrying the puppet. Hey. Uh, oh, be careful with that, young <laughs> I'm, man. I'm careful. I'm, I'm, I'm yes. the most careful person oh, Rick, in the world. Please be very careful. I am very careful. Like, you, Tarlo's uncharacteristically, like, not not in a happy mood when he says this. <laughs> right, Ulrich. And Roar, he's, he's whispering. He's dropped his voice low. He's doing the kind of turn in his shoulder, talking really well. All right. So, uh, we're not gonna drink the tea. We're not gonna take this man's puppet. We're gonna put it back, because he doesn't fucking know where she is. We're gonna get the fuck out, because this is clearly right, a waste but, of time. But, but, but see, that's the thing. It's the tooth that I said he was here. Right. She was here. Well, so where she is she? At camp? At the camp, we found her pick. Right, 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 right. But I remember that uh you know ping shine said oh he got dragged off to this guy's place right i i'm oh man and rory would just yell from where he is uh, cards oh, there was there was a bit of a, a kerfuffle uh, with a, a, a fairy told us that uh, you did have you did have the person that we were looking for probably just a bit of confusion uh but could, would you mind clearing that up for us because we'd really Really like to save this this young woman. He's gonna take another big uh, sip of tea. I don't know that I care to clear up the 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 ran, uh, ramblings of some fey creature flitting about the forest. Don't you know not to trust the fairy folk? All right, that's uh, very racist. A drink? Yeah, it's very mean. First off, but you're also drinking their berry tea. Right, might I just check oh, in there what's behind would you that door? Like some? Nah. Just, just you know what? In. My good friend Cord, why don't you pour me a cup? Oh, of course. And he will, with his tea kettle, just pour you uh, 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 the same color blue tea uh, that he appears to be drinking. Hmm. Is the window that Kabu's at, is it locked? Nope. You Can he try and stealth your way? Do you roll me I a am. new stealth for that move? <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and shimmy up the. I'm gonna go ahead and do this with advantage. Nice. Oh, oh. damn! Oh. 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 oh yeah. No, it doesn't even stick. You just glide the window up silently and <clears throat> ninja your way in through the window. <laughs> 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 Impossible music theme. Go. Uh, am, I, am I in there then? Yeah, you are in there. Sorry, I'm in. I'll just uh, open the door oh, for hello. you. Hold on, I can't make loud clacking noises. But uh, were you inside I'm checking in. the tea, Tarlo? To see oh if no, he's Tarlo's very much it? like. Oh no, like I'm, I'm taking in just like taking a whiff. It's like ah, yes, quite decadent of these uh, hangman's like berries. Some, do you take? Oh, what an old name for them. Uh, and, and he's uh, going to kind of put his hand on the table. Uh, and then as soon as he does, hand on the table. Is Tarlo, that door locked or closed Tarlo. to that room? It's happening. No, in it's the open. Oh, Tarlo shit. will immediately take out. Um, shit, I can't remember the name. He's standing up, by the way, and seems yep. to be getting uh, taller Lenore? as he stands. Lenore, uh, it seems to be escalating. If you move forward, please drag me with you. Please squeeze my hand to confirm I cannot hear you. <laughs> uh, she, yeah, oi. she would. Um, Lenore and Luke, okay. it's getting real fucky in here. Hey, Ulrich. Uh, well, uh, it's getting his fucky. His form what? is going to continue to grow, and the skin from his face is going to slough Ew, away gross. and drop Ew, in big chunks gross. on the table. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tarlo will like pull out uh, broken tenacity. And point he out. is going to transform before your eyes. I'd rather him not. Ooh. Ew! Ew. Gross! <laughs> uh. A mag! A mag! Mag! <laughs> Mags! It's a man! It's a hag! No! Stop! Ew. Uh, Tarlo will like have broken tenacity. Point like. 
my friend, it's this is not a good idea on your end. <laughs> You're quite outnumbered and outmatched, and I would rather not have Out to fight you. Outnumbered. <laughs> Uh, and as he says this, he is going to uh, uh, wave his fan hand at the fireplace, and the piles of kindling that he has stacked up there are going to start to form together uh, into humanoid-type shapes. That we've seen before, or different ones? Uh, they both look by... There's a few. They seem to look like the ones you've seen before, and also some of them look a little different. Okay. Hey, Luca. Mm -hmm. uh, technically, I would have sight uh, on what's going on inside. Can you drop just like some sort of token in there and let me see what's going on? Or do you want me to just move Luca in there? Just, just, just move him up there, yeah. If you deselect your token, you should be able to see what everyone else sees. Oh, yeah. Can okay. I deselect? Okay. Oh, escape. You just, yeah. Oh, okay. I watched the tutorial. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Turk. Dunk Ah! So you're just gonna burn your own house down with all your beautiful trees. Yeah, piles of Oof. kindling are turning into uh, these things. <laughs> so much for thinking I was safe in here. <laughs> nope. Everything was fine. The, the, puppets, the narrator, right? everything was not <laughs> fine. Mm. <laughs> everything was peaceful until the fire would attack. <laughs> everything was going great until it yes. did. That should All right, be if everyone could roll initiative, and we are not giving any more inspiration for awesome <laughs> references. <laughs> they have too many already. Okay, okay, okay. There's okay. no such thing. I feel attacked. Why is it giving plus six? Holy, what the Point French 16. toast? Ho oh, ho. Oh. Eight again. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. What are you worried about? Lord, look at everybody's rolls. You ready? <laughs> Ew, gross, there's so many twig blights. Why? If that was another natural 20 thing, it is. Let's see here. So, we've got... Kabu, uh, you are first. <laughs> so, is it the wood that comes, or is it more the puppets that are coming to life where I am? It's actual kindling. The puppets are not okay. awake. Okay, so that's a okay. That's the fireplace in here. Then okay. Mm -hmm. uh, are these like smoldering kindling or just like dry like the last ones? Just we saw? dry. Okay. <laughs> like oh well, uh, I think I've dealt with you folks before, so uh, let's try, let's try it again, shall we? And he's gonna go ahead and uh, cast firebolt at the one on the left where he is. Okay. Uh, also, just a note um, while everybody's before my turn comes up. Um, from Ulrich's shoulder, from um, Timor, everyone in that room will start hearing a like a deep, unsettling, like gurgle growl come from him, come from Timor, just like a. Ulrich, I think there's something gross and uh, wrong with that bird. Yeah, could you not do it on my shoulder? It's, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Is it gonna vomit on you? It's fine. It might. It's fine. Could you, could you oh, not God. do it the on pellet? my shoulder, please? They have pellets. It's fine. Not, what, isn't it a raven? It's like yeah. a writing desk. Corvid snake pellets is the thing. Gross. Uh, I got a 13 to hit that one. Uh, that'll hit. Oh, sweet. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's seven fire damage. On this one right um, here, and he is going to just go up in flames. All right. And uh, actually, as a bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and direct uh, MP to launch a force bolt, a force strike at the other one. Okay. So I'm trying to think. Can I just roll that? Mom? Ah! I dropped all my dice. Don't do that. I'm, I'm just going to roll that here. Uh, that was a three, so he misses. <laughs> okay. All right. And then it is Tarlo. Are you sure you really want to do this, friend? He will just begin laughing at you. Yes, I do. There's so many new dolls for my collection. Hmm. Uh, he will swing with broken tenacity first. Okay. Oh, gross. 
I don't think an 11 is going to hit. Okay, he's just going to laugh at you as you swing and miss and he moves out of the way. Bonus action, my other, my <laughs> other one. Okay. Oh, even worse. So you swing furiously at him and he just kind of sidesteps and then grins and laughs at you. I'm so rusty at this. <laughs> Ulrich, you are up. Uh, Ulrich's going to uh, just step up, being like, all right, I got these two. Um, and I'm going to swing that longsword at it. <laughs> For an eight. All right. <laughs> that will not hit. I don't have this one. It's getting a bit difficult. Uh, I believe in you. Rick, just the hips. Use the hips. Swing it round. Hey, um, I'm going to use my bonus action to attack with a disadvantage. For a 12. Uh, the 12 for against him or one of this twig the twig blights? Twig blights. Yep, it'll hit. Yes, excellent. Uh, for eight. Okay. Uh, it's going to just explode into splinters. Just misses with first. I was using the wrong side of the sword, sorry. Um, oh, and of course. then uh, he's just going to step up that. Alright. And then Luke, it's your turn. Hey um, Luke, you want to get in here? <laughs> yeah, so, so back where Luke is, uh, Lenore will hear oh, oh no. Oh god, fuck. Um, and Luke will be jettisoned Ooh. out of his connection, and he'll look at Lenore and say, oh no. Um, and no. in the room, uh, Timor will just, the, the gurgling noise will grow louder. Just like, <laughs> and uh, Timor will fly directly at the, the hag spawn and jab his beak into the the Hagspawn's chest. And from that, Timor will disappear and this kind of dark bead of energy will form and then expand with a devastating impact, uh, casting uh, Arms of Hadar. Ooh. Um, okay. Straight from, uh, so these greenish black tendrils of flesh and bone just spiral out, hitting everything within 10 feet of the the uh, hag spawn. So Tarlo, Ulrich, and all of the <laughs> enemies. Uh, bruh. Okay. <laughs> Can uh, I get an F in chat, and please? And what's the to hit? Uh, it is a strength saving throw from everyone. Are you a friggin' oh. cereal right now? That's my <laughs> worst possible one. Thanks, chat. You're the real MVPs here. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to use my inspiration. 15 for him. You know and what? I may as well use it too. Fuck it. For this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. 17. That's better. I've seen that one for Ulrich. I can't believe this. Oh, oh five for that one. I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, you can, you know what? Can't you, don't you can have all the apps I asked for, just they're going to go right to you. Donations. What are they saving against? So, just for clarification, uh, it would be like right there ish. So, all of them. Yeah, okay. so. Let me literally do this guy as well. well. Uh, it okay. is a it is a DC thirteen. Okay, so then uh, one of the so the hag spawn saves and one of the flights saves. Okay. All who failed take six necrotic damage, Ooh. and uh, whoever succeeded takes three necrotic damage. Okay. Um, also, Luca, whoever failed uh, cannot take reactions until the start of my next turn. Thanks, all right. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Luke, I'm Luke, welcome. Luke Actual will look at Lenore and just 
Oh no. And start running towards the door. Um, How many oh no's with that? Just, just oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I think you went to yeah. three, so. Oh yeah! <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> Uh, All right. So that's gonna why be. Can't, why can't I control? Through. Why can't I control Luke? I can't. Oh, because I'm being doom. That's why. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. There we go. That's All right. Time. Okay. Um, it's now his turn. Uh, and he is going to. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Um, Big fear. He's gonna cast uh, acid splash. He doesn't have to. Okay. <laughs> Make a, I would like to persuade him otherwise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's sixty feet, so he's gonna just—he's just gonna do Tarlo and Ulrich uh, acid splash. Not the face. <laughs> That's the money maker. at you two um, and then go ahead and make a deck save for me in my plus two 18 21 all right fine then <laughs> um, I can't hit you you can't hit me <laughs> and it's nothing on save so you guys are fine that's upsetting it's fine <laughs> Uh, and then it is Rory's turn. Uh, Rory is watching all the things exploding and popping off of, well, all right, and is going to sprint in uh, the room. He's going to jump up on the table and kind of swing himself around to get behind him, just kind of monk, dope monk shit as he parkours up and around. And as he comes up, he's going to actually... Parkour grab the edge of the table and fling like feet first into the tree spawn to like pin it against the wall with his feet uh, okay. for his initial attack. Let's see, bloop, and we're gonna do bloop. Oh my gosh, too many goals. Yep. Uh, 23 to hit. Get him. 23 will hit. Awesome, uh, so he's gonna do four bludgeoning damage. Is it still up? Okay. Is it, is it still? It is still up. Okay, he's going to uh, kick it once more. Uh, to do the thing thing. Oh, shit. I'm gonna use my reroll. I'm going to use my reroll yeah. now. Hell in this yeah. Moment. Oh no. 12 to hit. Uh, that will not hit. 12 oh. won't hit Twig guy? Not this guy, though he does appear to be more needle-like than twig-like. <laughs> you know, fuck, th fuck this guy. We're burning a key point. We're fucking doing it again. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna fucking do it again. <laughs> do it. He just You're does appear do a little again. bit more uh, <laughs> sharp and spiky looking than more oh, thorny kind of Yeah, yeah, he would. Twiggy. Let me make... Uh-huh. A kindling. And I can make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. So is that two more unarmed strikes or just one more? It would technically be one more, because I think you did two that's already. that's what I thought, but I wanted to double check. Yeah, uh, you good fam. Come on. Get him. 16 to hit. That will hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will. <laughs> She's so mad. <laughs> For five bludgeoning damage. Okay, it's still up. Oof. God damn it. <laughs> Icky gross. I would just like uh, to take a moment. We have to stop everything. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> Zeke in chat. I love you so much. You just said I just came. Just and I thought that that's what she 
he said, and I've never felt more shame in my life. Ever in my that's life. What that's, said. What said. <laughs> that's what said. That's what she said. That's what said. That's what said. That's what said. I've never felt more shit in my life. That's what she said. <laughs> Listen. Wait, we I need can Lenore go back to say to it. The fight now. Lenore, can yeah. you say it in the French version, though? <laughs> what? Is that what she said? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's Kessa Kennedy. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Rory, pinning this thing up against the wall is going to gruffly call back over to Tarlo. I maybe try, try stabbing it. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little rusty. Right, but you're sure it's not. All try right. using that. Uh, it is its turn, and it's going to turn. Uh, let's see. It's actually, you know what it's going to do? I'm going to just see how many it makes. It's going to make four attacks. Oh, what the f- so, uh, what? <laughs> But it can't make- it can't attack you more than twice. It's gonna hit all of you. It's just gonna shoot out needle attacks at you. So anyways, it started blasting. <laughs> um, okay, so first one uh, is going to be a 20 to hit on Rory. That'll with hit. six piercing damage. Uh, the next one is an eight to hit on Tarlo, but I guess since uh, Hexwan was standing in the way, it didn't quite hit. And then the third one against Ulrich is a crit for Ooh. 25 to hit. So nine piercing damage. Are you all right? Ah, I'm fine. I think that was just one of my kidneys. Oh, I can patch you up when we're done here. Oh, right. You don't really oh, fucking need those. No, yeah, no, it's fine. I'll be you right. need one, just one. Oh, well, you're on to spare then. <laughs> but you can't drink as much, so. Ah, uh, we'll fix that. I'll fi I'll patch you up real quick. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Ebbing Take first. That survival kit. Uh, and it is now the next guy's turn, and he's also going to make a certain amount of attacks. I gotta roll. But to see how why? Many he's gonna make two attacks. <laughs> Uh, and he's going to attack Ulrich and Rory. <laughs> Apparently Tarlo is not a good enough target friend. Sorry. Uh, for, let's see. The first one is going to be a 21 to hit for seven piercing damage against Ulrich. And then a 22 to hit Rory for four okay. piercing damage. All right, all right, all right. Was that your other kidney? Uh, and the <laughs> How's Ulrich doing? And then Lenore, it is your turn. Oh my gosh, it's finally me. I've just been sitting here outside this house, guys. Oh it's fine. Everything's <laughs> fine. It's fine. Everything's Everything fine. was not fine. Everything was not fine. Let's go back down to visit Lenore. <laughs> out here. Happening in here. Oh my god, I'm all the way out here. Oh, we do uh, still have if you if you drag it shit. Up to I was dragging it, it didn't work, so I was just counting. It's was fine. It um Okay, I look in the door. See that? Runs the hell. <laughs> um, walk in. See this guy over here. Um, and yeah. Um, no, I'm not gonna use my bonus action to move more. I'm just gonna throw a dagger at him. Hopefully, hopefully okay. it will sink in. And which one? Um, the one over here. This guy. Is it pinging? Or is it not? I don't know. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, that cool. one. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Uh, yeah, that is a 24 to hit. That one uh, hit. For five damage. Uh, five damage. I don't okay. think I'm getting any sneak attack from that. So. Okay. Yeah. We'll just Who are you attacking? Um, the bottom the, one down there? Yeah, the bottom one. Mm. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah, that'll be my turn. <laughs> All right, let's see how many times he is going to attack. Who? Uh, it's his turn now. Uh, and he is going to attack, I rolled a six, but he can't attack anyone more than twice in his turn, so he's going to just attack all four of you. Um, and he's gonna just shoot out 
needle-like twigs at all of you. Uh, the first one is a 21 to hit for Lenore, and it's going to be six piercing damage. <laughs> okay. And the second one is going to be for Tarlo, a 17 to hit for four piercing damage. Ow, my back. The Oof, third ouch. is going to be 17 to hit Rory for seven piercing damage. Uh, it'll hit, and Rory will look like he's going to drop 20 for just a split second, and his eyes will kind of roll back, and then he'll pop back up and kind of be like... Right. Well, might be this. Might be this time. All right. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Are you all right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then Ulrich, eleven to hit for six piercing damage. Ele eleven? Really? All right. I don't even uh, register that as an attack. All right. They're just the gonna ching off your off your armor and not make any contact. And then it is now. Uh, <laughs> Luca, they're level two. <laughs> <laughs> Kaboo! Well, I hope everyone in the other room's doing all right. Uh, but I, <laughs> they, they seem like a hearty bunch. Gosh, I'm sure, sure they're fine. Oh my God. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we have healing potions. I can see the uh, the the blight and Rory from the doorway. It looks like, according to what I have here. So, um, and if you see Rory, looks rough. Like his his face, his features are kind of sunken and dark, and he's swaying, but like teeth just gritted hard. Um, if I send MP over to Rory, is he going to get uh, tax opportunity from the two? No, only if you were to, uh, like, then leave again. But just okay. entering, he'll be fine. Well, in that case, uh, Rory, you're going to see uh, MP kind of, like, like look in the doorway, and then, like, his uh, his horn oh, turns into a Oh, do you need me to bring over? Hold on. I'll bring, o bring him over for you. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. But his, uh, his little... Uh, um, the little horn apparatus on his uh, that the music comes out of like pops open and turns into a little helicopter, oh. Da Vinci style. Okay. And it flies over to Rory and lands on your back and like holds on with his pincer. Ah. Nope. And you hear from the other room, Cabo go, "I got you, pal!" And he casts Cure Light Wounds through MP. Oh, nice. Crap. This was cute when it started. <laughs> I don't like it anymore. <laughs> I think Grip's nope, on. I'll just die, thanks. Rory goes, like, "All right, yeah, it's." bit weird but all right <coughs> oh that, yep that's definitely my blood <laughs> uh, oh, oh my damn oh, that, you get you heal 12. nice Ooh. hot nice you, you're doing all right in there yeah <sighs> much better much better how are the yeah. others <laughs> uh, i don't fucking know <laughs> he's kind of like as he moves back to try and like get a gander not great no it's got interesting now Cool. All right. Uh, that's all I can do. <laughs> all right. Um, it is now Tarlo's turn. Quick Q of an A. Is this flanking? For duper. Yes. Sure. <laughs> yep. Excellent. You're talking about the hag spawn? Then definitely. Yep. Sure yep. do. All right. Broken tenacity, go. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. With a crit. Okay. Yep, that'll hit. Eleven piercing damage. For eleven damage. From a magical Oof. weapon if it matters. And it's silver. Okay. Uh you're right, Ulrich. Apparently, just stabbing him works. Right? <laughs> it seems pretty clear, but a lot of people don't get it. It's pretty and cut then... and dry. Okay. No, a stab More and like a dry. stab and dry. There hey. we go. All right. Um, however, uh, Tarlo, as you hit him... Son of a bitch. He is going to... Is that no reactions thing still active? Yes, it is. Did he fail the save, though? No, he, he saved fail. against he it. Saved. The other guy uh, failed. Yeah, he saved. Uh, awesome. Oh, okay, so please though. make a wisdom save for me. Uh, I'd rather Tarlo, not. <laughs> as when you hit him, he utters a curse under his breath. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Go ahead and take seven psychic damage Ooh. from Ouchie his bouchies. curse. My 
Ooh, as it ouch, my brain meat. into your chest. <laughs> uh, and you feel the weight of it. Okay. Uh, hold up. Bonus action. I'm going to stab him again. Or at least try. Okay. With my other sword. <laughs> the other Does a 16 sword. hit? That will hit, yes. Hell yeah. For five more piercing. Oof. Okay. Uh, you will notice uh, some dark blood dripping down from the wound, and mechanically he is bloodied. This is your last chance, my friend. You can surrender now or... <laughs> this is your last chance. <laughs> All right, so it's everyone's last chance. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, let's see who is up next. It's Ulrich. Mm. Uh, Oleg's gonna be a little shaky, and he's gonna grip at the the one like needle in his back. He's gonna pull it out. He's gonna take a deep breath, get that good good air in, um, and he's gonna use second wind. Healing okay. me for nine. Okay. So get that back, which is pretty nice. Oh. Um, I forgot my sneak attack damage on my turn like an idiot. Oh, then he's no. going to. Uh... Oh God, that was thirty six extra damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, big Darlo, dumb. Big I need dumb. you to really feel that because I'm doing the math in my head. I need you to feel that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the real oofy ouch, real mind brain. That's a twenty three on this other <sighs> needle blade. This thing. guy behind you. Yeah, yeah. that'll hit. All right, um, for six. For six, okay. He is still up. All right, let's try and change that. I'm gonna use my action surge. Yeah, go ahead. Um, just doing that. Um, then 24. 24 damage? No, 24 oh, to hit. hit. <laughs> I would oh, for another yeah. six. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, that will hit, and also he will splinter apart into a bunch of needly little splinters and fall to the ground, and he's out of the fight. Right, that's three for me so far. You're doing and, great, and kid. I'm just gonna finish my turn by moving over here. All right. Okay, uh, let's see, it is now Luke, you are up. Luke's gonna rush in uh, into the room, seeing just just spines and needles and things just all across the room, mixed with broken tables and stuff from the arms of Hadar. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. And I'm so sorry. Just stuck on Rory's back. <laughs> my nose is bleeding. It's fine. Uh, Luke's gonna wave his hands in front of him, uh, and uh, his nail is gonna clip his hand and scatter a bunch of blood over the floor. Um, and he will, his eyes will glow, uh, just pitch black and, um, shadowy hands will start to come out of the ground and wrap around the three remaining enemies as he casts Bane. And I need a Ooh. wisdom save from all three of from them. From all of them. Okay. Right. Is it not charisma? Well, charisma save, I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, okay. Charisma okay. Save. Can't fine. imagine these, these piles, piles of sticks are very charismatic. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know. We've seen Pinocchio. Let's see here. Uh, 17, 7, and a 14. Okay. Shit, the 7 fails. Okay, so one of these needle blights is going to fail. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so uh -huh. he, has a minus, he, he has a minus D4 to attacks and saves. Okay. All right. Uh, is there anything else, Luke? With Not your turn. So. Okay. It is now um, Hagspawn's turn. Icky gross. Uh, and he is going uh, to just slash out at you, Tarlo. Can with he his not? claws. Um, for oh, ten to hit. No, thank the gods. Okay. I <laughs> Listen, Tarlo's hurting for a squirting. So disappointing! <laughs> Rory, you are up! <laughs> uh, Rory's going to um, swing, kind of recognizing that there's got Spiky Guy and that 
Carlo's trying to get this hag man down, he'll spin and kind of uh, push off the wall with a punch, trying to deck this guy while he's clearly engaged with Tarlo. <laughs> um, for an arm strike, an advantage. God it damn it. Oh, Eleven. I... The betrayal. Eleven oh. to hit will not hit. Alright, he's gonna do it again. <laughs> Twenty-one. A twenty-one to hit will hit. Thank God. For four bludgeoning damage. Uh, we're gonna go is he still up? He is still up. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and use my remaining key point to do flurry of blows. Yeah, as you're hitting him though, like just blood is trickling out and it's like spittle frothy blood <laughs> just that he's coughing crit. at you. Uh, That's a fucking crit. Oh. <laughs> Judo <laughs> chop his ass. Dead. <laughs> For eight bludgeoning damage, as he just like he'll he pushed off the wall, slammed an elbow, he punched him in the back of the coughing head, coughing and sputtering frothy blood from his mouth, but he is still standing. Oh no! And this Rory so will just growl under his breath because he can't do any more. <laughs> okay. The tag that's been hit. Yep. Right. And it is this guy's turn who's standing right next to you, Rory, and he has a negative D4 to attacks, correct? Yeah, is he making ranged attacks as well? Uh, yes, he is. Then he should be at disadvantage for all of his attacks. Okay. Because he is in melee, just One, letting you know. Two. Mm -hmm. And then... Well, he's still got a 17 to hit. Wait, minus four, so 13 to hit. Who's the Rory? Nah. Get oh. that shit off my track. All right. <laughs> so he is Bane, and that will not hit you. However, uh, he does get attacks on three other people in the room. So it's going to be Tarlo, Ulrich, and Luke. Um, and he is going to... One, two, three. So... Uh, 22 minus 4 is 18 to hit Tarlo for 6 piercing damage. Power! Was, was that a disadvantage, Luca? Does he still have to for Tarlo? Mm -hmm. Every time he's in, every time he makes a ranged attack when he's it's in melee. It's just because of the Bane? No, be, that's raw. That's like when you're in melee. Oh, and because Rory's right there. I understand. Rory, yeah. Right, right, yep, yep, yep. Rory I understand what you're saying. I was like, okay, I'm with it. Okay, well then a 21 to hit minus four. It's still gonna hit. Tyler has like okay. no armor class. So. Well, so that would have been seven piercing. Just... <laughs> Womp. Uh, okay, so, and then the next one is a nine to hit, Luke. No. Okay, with disadvantage, and then one to and then a 15 to hit Ulrich. Nope. Okay. Black. All right, but Tarlo is going to drop. He is. Okay. Uh, and it is Lenore's turn. Oh boy. She's going to see that happen and just be like, oh, for fuck's sake. Um, and uh, if I can Lenore, drag, kill the puppeteer. please. Token, please. Please. Not Hello. today. Make sure the today. make sure the oh I don't the box have... is selected. Yep, cool. the... <laughs> You're right. I I had target on. Um, she's gonna walk up and use her action to give Tarlo her potions that she had from her uh, pocketing that. So he will at two d four plus two. Um, you'll need to administer it though, right? Cause like he's just passed out on the floor. Yeah, so I, I'm just yeah, taking a I, quick I, nap. I, I administer and... the potion. Yeah, I use my action to do that. Yeah, but just yeah. just a, just a wee tired. This is just taking a nap. Uh, uh, just, a... <laughs> just. But yeah, um, do I roll that or? You can if you want. Okay. Either. Uh, okay. I will give you the magical gift of life. <laughs> You know what, I'm actually just gonna get my dice for this real quick because the dice are really uh, super slow on mine. Do, uh, 
Um, that is seven points uh, of healing. Yes, nice. seven points of healing. Um, and she is going to. No, she actually really liked where she was. She's gonna go back towards the door over here. But uh, <laughs> that's pretty much all she can do. <laughs> Tip. All right. And it is this guy's turn down by Ulrich. And he is going to attack, but with disadvantage from his needles. And how many times down, yeah. can he do it? Five times? How many people are in this room? Yes, he can roll to hit all of you. Okay. The one, two. Who's doing it? The guy down this by guy. Ulrich. Is it at disadvantage if you, because yeah. of Ulrich? Yep. Yep. If, yep. You, yep. if you hold control when you click attack, you can get them automatically rolled at disadvantage. I am rolling it through D&D Beyond because it wouldn't let me import this particular monster sheet. It's just a voice for you when there. you're no. doing the metacall. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I was trying to help. Uh, an eight, Ulrich? No. Okay. No. God, no. Uh, okay, and then let's see. One, two. And then a 24 to hit uh, Lenore, though Oof. that disadvantage saved you a crit. Uh, so okay. seven piercing damage. Ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and then Luke missed another crit. Uh, nine to hit, will not hit. Carlo, a 20 to hit, missed another crit. You guys keep critting. Fuck. <laughs> My <dirt>. ass. <laughs> That's better <laughs> than. <laughs> My mic won't let me scream, but I'm screaming. <laughs> we love it. Uh, the, the sad sadness. So a 20 to hit for six piercing. To me? Mm -hmm. Shit. Carlo. Yeah. Oh. On a scale of 1 to 18, I'm at a 1. <laughs> oh my god. And then Rory, it's a 6. Yeah, get the fuck out. Okay, mm. there's the door. If you'd like to see yourself <laughs> out. <laughs> so, uh, we are back at the top with Kabu. Alright. I am going to go ahead and use my plus 2 and one of my advantages that I have. And I'm going to aim for the puppet master you're gonna steal the kill yeah we'll see Weird. and i'm gonna roll with advantage for another i'm gonna just pull the lever on my crossbow again so it glows at the tip and launch another fireball oh 23 goddamn 23 nice. hell yes all right go ahead and make a wisdom save as he uh curses you uh as uh he's getting hit Oh, okay. Uh, where's my Curse just sudden yet inevitable betrayal. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, seven. Uh, so uh oh, if you're... 18. Uh, damn. Okay. All right, and what was your damage? Let's find out. That's uh, four damage. All right, how would you like to describe it, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Kabu's gonna like pop in the door frame so he sees him. And uh, as they make eye contact, he hears behind him coming from MP I've got no strings to hold me down. And then Kabu just launches a firebolt right at his face. <laughs> I'm angry, but you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and with that, he will drop, and as he drops, the the needly type collection of twigs is also just going to kind of fall loosely to the floor. And you guys are out of initiative. Oh, oh thank goodness. We did it. And it just, Harla just like collapses. All right, wait, that one's still mine. I was going to hit that one. You go, I pop, go ahead and hit it. Just, I pop in from the other room. Hey, how you guys doing in here, eh? Oh, blood, blood everywhere. And oh my God! Whatever that is. Doing fine, I guess. Um, Ulrich, Tarlo, I'm so sorry. I. That's fine. We all unleash unspeakable magical effects on people from time to time. Yeah, I should have known better. Um, Do you think, 
Come no, down. I was trying to make him feel good. So, uh, yeah, yeah. just out of curiosity, who's lost the most blood, eh? Um, I'm well, like here, blood on face, quite, you're quite the sides. Thing. Uh, there are gonna be, you're gonna notice slowly around you, these wooden puppets are gonna slowly start, uh, transforming back into actual people. Uh, oh. the bedroom over here is filled with <laughs> random townspeople, travelers, hunters. Um, and then you will notice that the, in the chair, wherever Ulrich... Oh, I kind of just dropped it right by the entrance. Okay. Uh, set her down. <laughs> um, just, just felt, slapped her right again. <laughs> and, uh, she... Let's see here. Let's find this. Um, right, yeah, she is going to, uh, kind of look around. Uh... And as she transformed, like, she looks a little beat up, but very intense, and looks around as if readying herself for a fight. And we'll look down and see the body and at you. Uh, with, like, a questioning glance of, like... We're friends. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Just, like, a finger up, just, like... <clears throat> where uh, Alma put out a notice that you were gone, and so Alma, you, yes. How long have I been gone? Two days. Four days, I should say. Yep. Uh, 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 four. Four days. Okay. Uh, she put out a notice. Yes. Uh, uh, thank you, and she'll look at the body again. And kind of like scoot back a little. Uh, thank you. Of course. No um, problem. I think we should round up all of these people. Are these all people from the village, or? Yeah, you're gonna hear uh, a voice calling out. Ah, Quill. That was right unpleasant. <laughs> and a small um. Uh, red-haired uh, <laughs> dwarfish guys, you know, walk in, um, and he is, oops, there's two of him, <laughs> uh, and he is going to stand up. He has blue tattoos covering his body uh, to the point where his skin almost looks blue. Is huh, feeling a mite stiff. What are you oh. on about in here? You killed the hag? We did. Just a bit. Well, Kabu did it technically, but we helped. Mm. Hey, hey, it was a, for... it was a... It was a group effort. Uh, I'm sure you all did quite well in here. I took out like seven back there. It was crazy. Seven? Oh, wow. Jeez. <laughs> oh, we are... Uh... Oh, it hurts to talk. <laughs> but here with this? the Harpers... I can uh, talk for you. I got you. I I, I got you, man. And uh, M MP, go ahead and uh, tend to the tend to tend to our friend here. And he'll like crab walk over and just kind of touch you with his claw, and he'll cast uh, cure light wounds on you as well. Um, six oh, healing. healing. Six right. healing. Oh, thanks. So. Oh. Better. At this point, NP starts doing like a crab dance. <laughs> crab rave! MP, MP, come on, knock it off. Uh, oh. Showboating. We don't showboat in front of our friends. No, it's fine. It's it's actually <laughs> quite entertaining and lovable. No, well, MP, keep doing it. Hell yes. Oh. Who are you? Sorry. Ah, oh, great. The name's not as wee as we Hamish, but uh, it's good to know you're Harpers. I also, and he'll show out one of his tattoos, and it's this intricate design of a blue harp on his forearm. Oh. I also. Lovely. What are you doing out here in the mistwood? Looking for her. Ah. And we found her. Oh, God, I'm so winded. Hey, GM. Breathe, breathe. 
Roar, as everybody was like coming to life and Rory realized there was going to be even more people, he kind mm -hmm. of made his way to the door and is casually leaning against the door frame. When he sees Not As We As We Hamish, does he recognize like what he's looking at? Uh, there will be quite a few tattoos that are uh, familiar iconography to him. Okay. He and will, his he personal... Will... Mm -hmm. Yeah. He'll just stand at the door and kind of just be intently watching. Mm -hmm. uh, Veld is going to stand up and um, where do you is El Elma with you? Is she is she here? Back at home. Here's your bag. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, again, do I what? How can I repay you? Just just come with us. That's it. I I I am sorry. I do not have anything uh, with which to heal you. Uh, are you can... able to journey now? I'm I'm yep. quite anxious to get back. Carly, you, you need a hand. I'm fine. Uh, and she is I going think... to rummage no, around not. in Come the bag on. and make sure that her sketch of Alma is still in there, which she will take out, uh, check and carefully fold and put back in her pocket. Come on, Tarla. Oh, I think this is. Show the raid. I think this is for you too. And he hands Veld Alma's sketch of her. Oh, she gave this to you. To help find you. I I will see that she gets it back. I know she doesn't like to be without it. And uh, she will fold up. She's like, this looks like a new, new version. She said she spent a long time on it. You two are very talented artists. Oh, it's mostly her. I, This one of her, I didn't do. It was hers. I asked her to make it for me. That's just so cute. <laughs> um, She's going to and... like start edging towards the door as a very appreciative of your help, but also very much wanting to get back to her <laughs> well, wife. Well, it's been fun, but now I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and she knows fun? her wife has been, you know, <laughs> waiting. Uh, if If you are well enough to travel, I, I would like to get back to her. I think so. Is everyone else here well enough to travel? Um, Look, I, I one, think one moment. There's a few in the other room that may need a bit of help. Oh. There's some wee ones in there. Oh, I'll handle them. Children. You will say, like... <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 go, I'll go ahead into the other room and start, like... Yeah, hey. there's, there's quite a few... Uh, all in various stages of discombobulation. Uh, people staring around. A few children, a few hunters, just random townspeople. Um, and for the sake of brevity, we will say that you are able to organize them and have them follow you. <laughs> yep. Can Gabu kind of search gonna... the room that he's in? Yes. Alright. What would you like to what, what, uh, investigate for me? Or, you know, if you're just yep. doing casual glance, percept. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and investigate. Uh, and Luke would do the same for the body of the the uh, haggling. That's a ten. Okay. Um. So. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other, my last uh, advantage roll on that. Right. Ooh, that's a natural twenty. All right. Ooh. You are going to find three gemstones uh they're uncut and worth about 10 gold pieces each uh and then luke you're searching his body you are going to find a beautifully embroidered scarf that depicts two golden serpents twined around one another on a gray uh background <clears throat> Ooh, that's fancy. Look at it. Um, are you going to attempt to spend some time getting to know it? Uh, I would later. Yes. Okay, then I'm gonna just tell you for now. It'll give you proof against poison. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh. Um. <laughs> 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 So yeah, uh, you know what I'm doing, Luca. Uh, 
Was... Is anybody else in this room with me? Everybody's in here that you see. <laughs> Shit. Well, anyone that's watching. Yeah? I Fuck. mean, I would assume that they're all searching about this place. There's lots of townspeople. I mean, you're not really in a position to be super secretive, but you can roll a sleight of hand for me if you would like. Nah. <laughs> Nope, I'm just blatantly and broken. Yep. Broken tenacity, just wedge a tooth out. Okay. You guys are all going to watch Tarla take out his broken sword and just <laughs> pop out uh, and incise her from, from, uh, from the Hagspawn's mouth. He did say he wanted a pointy one. Uh, uh, okay. Tarla. As Luke is right there, looting the Hagspawn's body. Yeah, as you're rifling through its gross, decrepit, bloody body, I'm gonna take a tooth. Luke will just look. Tell up me and... it's any different. Odic's walking no, back. He's got no. like two Twitch, kids. Twitch their arm. Odic's walking back in the room like he's got a kid on his shoulder. He's leading other or the two by hand. Like, oh my god, you should get all the teeth. Luke, Luke, let me just tell you. It's always nice to have a fae indebted to you than the other way around. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's for the smart people. They talk a whole lot. How many uh, people are in there, Ulrich? There's a whole bunch. They're coming out and, like, he's being followed by a stream This way, people. folks. Come on. Just, we're going to form, a, we're gonna form an orderly this. line. <laughs> Veld, who caught sight of this from the door, is just kind of looking at you <laughs> as you come out, like... I know you normally wouldn't do it, but trust the goblin. Follow him. He's going to lead you to safety. Phil, uh, are you aware of there the... A few uh, of the children that were puppets are uh, poking curiously at MP3. <laughs> hey, uh, MP, why don't you pay, uh, play a little something, uh, play something fun. And uh, crab rave. <laughs> he does a crab rave song and does the dance. <laughs> but it's like very like uh, renaissance-y, you know. I'm like, <laughs> like it's like bardcore. A, yeah, it's very bard. <laughs> Everything he plays is bardcore. Yeah. yeah. Not as we as we Hamish. Uh, is that ah, yes. your preferred? Is that your preferred name? It's my only name. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know if you wanted to be called Hamish or something ah, else. No. Or, there's there's already a Hamish, and then there's a wee Hamish, but I'm not as wee as wee Hamish, so I'm not as wee as wee Hamish. <laughs> mm. That is an interesting nomenclature there. Completely understand. Where are you from, not as wee as wee Hamish? Uh, up north I got a, a bit of a tavern, and he'll uh, kind of just pat his arm. You know, just kind of a little uh, safe space. Uh. Uh, would would I I don't know about the others what they're doing but uh, after this I don't really have a place to go oh uh, yeah need a place you can come with me I'm what? slipping into Rory <laughs> <laughs> it happens everybody wants to be Rory <laughs> there's get it. too many accents <laughs> I'm sorry don't be sorry it's okay yeah sorry's accent's a whole thing to handle um and Dan, yes, ask... you do here hide out if you will remember from season one. Season two is where you meet the NPC. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, or, or episode two. Yes, Veld, Tarlo. Yes. Are you aware of the fairy that lives in the nearby forest? Uh, there's a few. There seems to be quite a bit of bleed over from the fey realm in this forest. Ah, is there a fey veil here? Uh, I, I'm not sure if there are, is. I haven't discovered it, though, given all of the activity here, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. Well, this one's called Pink Shine. Uh, oh. I haven't met that one particularly. There's been a few others that I've come across. Hmm. It's interested in the uh, Champas. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, a, a Tooth Fairy. There's a few Which of them Which is, around. like, why I'm like, so... Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, Rory, uh, Rory thank you for your help. Against the wall literally does this. <laughs> uh, Rory, my friend. 
it's fine. And I'm just gonna start walking into the forest and start just calling out, oh, pig shot. Oh, God. Sorry, you're right. They said to bang some sticks together. Oh, shit, that's right. I gotta like, grab some, some sticks. sticks together. <laughs> Wait, no, no. Better yet, I do have. I have cook's utensils on me. Oh my god! I gotta do gonna lots go of pants. I ain't got you. Yeah, they get no sleep because y'all, y'all gonna get no sleep because <laughs> me. All right. So uh, as you're doing that, you are gonna see a familiar flitting coming towards you, uh, and you are gonna <gasps> see Pink Shine come. Hi, 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 hi. Hello. Hey, 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 hey. Shoppers. Hi, shiny, shiny, shiny. You got a smile <laughs> ah. for me? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? You got something? And you got something for pink shiny? What do you got? Present the incisor of a head. He's just ball. flitting around your head like almost too fast for you to keep track of. You got, you got, you got a hag tooth? A hag spawn <gasps> incisor just tooth? You got a hag tooth? You got a hag tooth? You got a hag tooth? Pink shine, pink shine. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, I told you, I told you I had a gift. I had a gift. I had a gift. Hold on, let me see. Uh, hold on, let me see. And he's just going to open a silver streak in the air and kind of part it open into like a void and start like digging through. Hold on, I got it. Just, just, uh, just one second, one second, one second. What's your name? What was your name? What was your name? Friend, friend, friend. Tarlo is so enthralled the fact that he just opened up a rift in fucking space. <laughs> I was like, oh, 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 what? <laughs> but, uh, did you have a name? Did you have a name? That'll help me pick. That'll help me pick. I do have a name, and it's mine. It's Talo. Talo, 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 Talo. Probably Talo. don't give them your name either. Talo. <laughs> you gotta remember how they act mm. and how they speak. You didn't Talo, ask Talo, that doesn't taste like a real name. Nom, 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 Talo. Oh, it's very right. real. I was giving it to thee on the day of my birth. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. All right. Okay. And I, uh, mechanically, I got to roll a D100 for it. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. Um, and he's going to pull out. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. No. Hold out your hand. Hold out your hand. Oh, I can put it in your mouth. I can put it in your mouth. You want me to? I'll just reach in your mouth. Uh, hands, hands fine. Your hands fine. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, and he will hand you a gilded thimble with a Ooh. golden needle tied to it with thread. All right, all right. You got some. You got some shiny there. She got some shiny for shiny, shiny for shiny, shiny for shiny, shiny for shiny, shiny for shiny. shiny, for shiny. Wow, this is quite. Thank you, What does this do? I don't know. It's shiny. It's shiny. You're right. What it does is, this I... do? Whatever you He's want. He's gonna to do hold it. up the tooth. All right, all right. And he's gonna place it into the void and then like close like, it up almost like a zipper. I was like slightly concerned he was gonna like chew it and crunch it like gross snack. <laughs> no, no. no, he would That's suck on it, obviously. That was horrifying, Carl. Anyway. <laughs> like a lollipop. Ew, gross and bad anyway. <laughs> Zeke, did you steal the <laughs> that I so <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you That's get what... for lacking. <laughs> That's what's said. That's what's said. That's what's the said. Kennedy. Said. Uh, well, thank you, my friend. I hope to friend, enjoy yeah, your friend. company another time. Hey, you want you hey, come back? Give me more shinies. <laughs> give me more shinies. Perhaps one day. No more shinies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. You don't got more shinies. I'll I'll check you later. Check you later. Check you later. And then hey, he'll hey, flit off into the trees. Luca, yes. tonal shift here. Tonal shift, just a little bit. Yep. Uh, Luke is going to go up to Veld. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Veld, you mentioned that there seemed to be some sort of bleed effect crossover uh, of the Feywild in this forest. When, when you've been out and about exploring, you haven't seen any artifacts or stones or anything that might be causing this bleed effect have you uh, any sites I've, of power? I've seen lots of that there's old cairns there's there's standing stones there's way stones um you know i i personally don't have any uh, i try not to mess with magic i'm just here to hunt um you know obviously and she's going to point to the cap you know uh, obviously 
bad things happen when you mess with the with right. magics. Um, it's just the, this is the second mission in a row we've got on that there seem to have been a bleed over effect and it seems to only be doing harm. So, um, it, listen, I have this map. Could you point me in the right direction uh, somewhere around here of like the biggest uh, site? Uh, well, uh, right in the center, and she's going to indicate on the, at the most center of the forest. Uh, it'll take you uh, a day or two to get there, but um, there is uh, quite a large set of standing stones. It's where the, the gray whistle lilies are. All right. Um, thank you. Uh, I, uh... Yeah. I may, I may um, come back and if you if you know the way, I may come back and have you uh, guide, if that's I, possible. I mean, I'll I'll be honest, and I appreciate your help so much, but I think I might be spending just the next few days at home with my wife. Oh no, not not anytime soon. Maybe later, but okay. um, this is something I'm interested in. But of course, take all the time you need. I will. I will be in contact. Uh, of course. Okay. Uh, I I appreciate everything you all have done. Uh, and she's gonna again start walking. Like, can we go now? A couple more feet. <laughs> Just that. Uh, she's gonna yeah, like. I'm, uh, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make my way uh, again. I appreciate so much. Uh, but uh, it seems like maybe. Uh, you know, I I can take some of these people back with me. I know yeah. the way. Maybe we could all travel together. I think some of us could use a nice nap. That would be good. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we're not looking good either. <laughs> bigger bigger numbers for safety, you know? <laughs> all right. So if you guys are going back, uh, you guys can follow her back to uh, the Three Ladies Inn. Um, where she will see Alma who is waiting outside of the tavern uh, and uh, she will rush up and they will have uh, an adorable embrace um, just kissing each other and just holding each other's How faces cute. and so happy to see each other um, at which point Alma will fuss over her and take her inside to get her food and cleaned up Um, she will look back at you and I, I have gold for you. Uh, if let me get her inside and, and, and fed, um, and just a little clean up and I, I, I have your reward. Uh, don't worry. Um, Rory would wait. No rush. Yeah. Wait for them all, but he is going to try and pull her to the side. Once everybody's kind of, once everything's calmed down. Cabo, I think I owe you a drink. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Depends on what you got. Oh, I can make uh, quite a few good mixes. I bartended for a few years. Oh, that's perfect. I've been to a few bars for many years. <laughs> I, owe, I think I owe you for helping me out back there. Ah, hey, it's not a problem at all. I'll tell you what, though, if you could, uh, and he pulls out like this bit of paper, it's like a rolled up scroll. He's like, uh, if you could, uh, and he kind of gets quiet with you, he's like, if you could maybe like sign this and fill it out, uh, I gotta let my probation officer know that uh, I did good here. I didn't get in trouble. I didn't do anything evil. Do you think it could like, uh, think it do me a big one in uh, return for saving your life there? Oh, of course. And he's going to sign it. And you're gonna see the name. Uh, mm, can you read Elvish? I can. Not. <laughs> oh, okay. Works to me. You just see him sign a name. That's a right pretty signature. Thank you so much, pal. This Not is a uh, this problem. Is definitely going to keep me in uh, good favor with the hoppers. 
And, uh, you did. You did put that. That uh, I was very helpful. I didn't do anything bad, right? Oh, of course, five stars would recommend at all. Times. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you five stars too. Um, <clears throat> Ulrich. Yeah. Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. You guys can go into the tavern as well if you want and find refreshment <laughs> and you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's Gabu's going in. Yeah, I'm just fine. Why are you okay? Um, well, I just sometimes when I uh, use Timor for his more um out there purposes, he fights me. I don't. Somehow he has the ability to activate some of the magic that I do on his own, and I just don't. I, that was all the weird hurling. I don't that understand what is going on, but hey. I'm glad that I'm glad that all of you are okay. I mean, it's um, helpful right now. Hey, during this trip, do you have spots in your memory? that just are missing? Like, if I drank too much? I guess, kind of, like a People blackout. Say, People say that happens, but I haven't really dealt with it yet. But I just, I haven't been drink. Uh, I know oh, I, I, I know I had a conversation with Veld. I can't remember anything I said. Right. Well, I remember you were talking to Valve just when you were coming out of the house. The kids were shouting at me to twist him, but, you know, spin him around, but... And anyway, um, again, I'm, I'm glad, uh, glad you're okay. Uh, what are, what are you doing? I, I know you and Rory seem to have, uh, struck up some sort of friendship, but, uh, uh, I... The last three months, I've been kind of just traveling. And when I got the letter from the Harpers again, it, it gave me kind of purpose. So uh, I'm going to be joining not as we as we Hamish. Um, he has a tavern, a Harpers tavern, I suppose. Sound like a secret tavern? It sounds like, I guess. Oh. The, harbor, the harbors are secretive. Do they have secret drinks there? You know what? I, they probably do. Oh, well, that's something I'd like to see. Well, I would be very appreciative if you joined. I want to keep this group together. It's fun being with you all. Oh, yes. Yeah, a lot of fun. I got three more kills. Of Four more kills today. It's bringing me up to five with this group. It's pretty good. 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 And as Lenore is passing by, Oi! Uh, Lenny. Lenny. Yeah, um, no. No. I don't know exact no. Lenore. Right? No, please. You good? You. Oh, match. I'm fine. I. Took kind of a hit, but uh, I can manage. Right, just want to check. You know, I see. I get hit in on. I'm all right. I can just kind of push past that. it. But uh, all right, cool, good. Everyone's okay. You want to come get secret drinks? That sounds really exciting. Hey, Rory. Hey. Secret drinks at a secret bar. No right. <laughs> uh, he, oh, uh, Rory has been kind of waiting for things to die down and everybody to find their spots, um, and eventually he will make his way over uh, to Alma and Veld uh, and just kind of quietly like put a, a raw it. A, a, don't want to make a fuss. Uh, I just as wondering. Uh, seems you have a neck for the arts. 
Uh, do you have to see the person? Uh, Alma will look up from where she's basically just like holding uh, Vel's hands and uh, uh, I, I could do my best with just a description. Would you mind? I wouldn't mind paying. Whatever. You could keep my ten or whatever. I'd really like something like that. Uh, of course. Uh, if you if you give me the description, I will I will uh, do my best. Right. And he'll look around and kind of pull up a chair across the table and hunch low and murmur just a description across the table really quietly, uh, checking over his shoulder. Uh, right. In she will head. pull out of her pack like a an, a notebook and like some charcoal and like yeah. uh, begin like kind of sketching as he. Mm hmm. And he'll just quietly watch it, almost like she's doing magic, as he as she draws. Yeah, and she'll keep like you know thinner here or more, you know. Yeah, just, yeah, same, same as mine. Just a bit high. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. It's perfect. And uh, as she finishes, he'll just kind of look at it, glassy eyed, kind of. Right. Well. It's wonderful. Right. It's, of, uh, of course. Uh, here, famous. just a second, and she's gonna blow on it really quick and then pull something else out of her bag which is like a little pump and she's just gonna over the top she's like if you let this dry uh, it'll make it so the charcoal doesn't uh, uh, rub away right yeah thank you and he'll take it almost like just he's afraid to ruin it with his hands that are all scarred and bruised from all the punching and kicking he'll take it right thank you uh, now how much uh, oh, uh, no, no. Uh, you, you brought it back to me. Please just take it. Are you, are you sure? Of course, yes. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. And he'll take it and quietly go back over to his table where he'll set it gently to the side in the corner while everyone else is kind of doing his, their thing, order a single beer, and just kind of sit and stare at it and smile. Okay. Okay. Uh, L Alma will uh, hand off to Lenore uh, uh, the gold for the party uh, when, as she passes by right there and just, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, thank you again so much for your help. Uh, here's your gold. No problem, mademoiselle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Uh, and her and Vel are just gonna continue just basically staring into <laughs> each other's eyes. Uh, she's like very gently like cleaning up Feld's face with like a little cloth that she got from the bartender. Yeah, Lenore really like, lingers a little bit, like just watching the couple interact, smiles a little bit, then kind of goes on her way. Okay. All right. Uh, not as we as we Hamish is gonna sidle up next to it. Uh, <laughs> not not to be a pushing you, but. Uh, no, no, of course. I was thinking of making my way north. Yes, uh, actually, we, if you don't mind, the other harbors here, I think, want to join as well. Hey, y'all want to come up and have a drink? Oh, where are we going? Rory! <laughs> I'm speak. never going to be able to do the Scottish accent <laughs> with Rory also in the session. It's hard, right? You really it's have to. So, it's so easy just really to go Gaelic to I Australian. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's like, it's... Hard. Mm, okay. So. Uh, not as we as we here, she'll be like, uh, uh alright, it's... Just up... Not... <laughs> Put your eight, short. Eight. Just, just breathe, not as we. You've been through a traumatic experience. It's okay if you're having trouble speaking. Hi, uh, thank you. Uh, name of the tavern is Zilvernvorgen Kind. It's just up north, and it's kind of cold, but uh, not too bad of a journey. Uh, and that's Dwarvish, and it translates direct translation into Silver Music Sleep. Oh. All right. I mean, I can go, but if we can get word to another hopper, I've got to, like, check in and let them know where I'm going to go. <laughs> okay, it take a few weeks to get there. 
Alright. Unless any of you have a, a cart? Ah. Uh, you knew a guy. <laughs> um. Alright. By foot it is then. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm good to travel if you all are. I think all uh, right. maybe some folks might need to uh, take a bit of time because it was uh, kind of rough for some folks, but... Uh, maybe uh, tomorrow? If you guys, yeah, if you guys want to rest here, he will uh, oblige uh, and get a room his, himself and to head out in the morning. And we are not going to take you there this session. You get to see the hideout <laughs> next session. Oh, no. <laughs> um but uh that if is there anything else uh yeah. one other to thing. take care of one yes other. go ahead uh as the evening passes and rory's drawing eventually dries he will make sure to tuck it away safely uh and he would wave over we Hame we not as we as we hamish uh and kind of as he walks up oh well how long you been here, mate? Oh, well, I, uh... Barely as would. For a while. God damn it, I can't do the accent. Barely right. as would for a while. Right. But, uh, you know what I mean, though. How long you been here? And I know the... Oh, I was down here on a on an end. I, uh... I'm just gonna do this in normal Luca voice. We'll practice. Down here on an errand, and, uh, you know, one thing leads to another, and suddenly I'm being woken up by you guys. Right. <laughs> Having been a puppet. Fair enough. Fair enough. And the Harpers? Harpers. Yes. I, uh... Uh, no longer with my clan, unfortunately. Oh. I'm the only one left. They've all gone back, and I'm the only one. Yeah, well, me too. Ah. Seems seems fight didn't want us to be alone for too much longer. <laughs> well, you know, even even heaven can get lonely sometimes. Yeah. All right. It's good to see you. Good to meet you. And he'll good put his hand you. across the table and shake it. That's it. Not as we as we Hamish. Hmm. Of the we three men. <laughs> Luke will uh, stay up much, much later than anyone else as as far as he knows. And he's just going to stand by the the hearth and on the main floor um, look into the fire. and He's going to pull out that book uh, the book of spells that he found in the last, uh, in the last mission, um, he was gonna just look at it and start rifling through it, and his hands start to kind of act on their own volition as they rifle through it, and he looks down into it, and his eyes just kind of start to see patterns and things in the book that Luke has no idea what is going on, but his body seems to completely understand. And he shakes his head, closes the book, and just continues to look in the fire. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that is Wait. going to con go. I didn't get my thing. You guys all go. Anyway. Well, I, I was letting everybody go. No, go. Uh, Charlie doesn't return to the tavern. Like, y'all were there. No one noticed. No one no noticed. Didn't no one noticed back. that, uh, I was promised a drink. <laughs> you were promised a drink. Just he never said tonight. <laughs> Gotta get him. Uh, uh, he does return to get those flowers mm -hmm. over in the the woods. Yes. And the then, Queen's like blush. while, yes. Okay. Um, while harvesting them, kind of chuckles to himself, and just kind of like admires each flower as he delicately picks them so he doesn't die of toxic inhalation. <laughs> um, I think he just kind of sits near that carn for a while. Okay. And then probably just calls out Pink Shine. Oh, God. You don't have, you don't have to do a voice. 
I'm not gonna make you. I'm not gonna make you be all eccentric right now. <laughs> Just uh, what chat? Okay. There will be inquiries about teeth and whether you're willing to part with them. Of course there will be. I mean, yes. it wouldn't be pink shine <laughs> if there weren't. But, uh, just a little back and forth questions. Okay. Probably through the evening. Okay. Uh, at one point, pink shine would get bored uh, upon there being no teeth and would flit away, uh, flit away. Maybe come back in an hour or two if you were still there. Check on you. Ask about the teeth again. Are you sure? And then flit away again if you were continuing to be, uh, quote unquote, boring. <laughs> I think Tarla's probably hanging out by that car in for the evening. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyone else? Kapu's still at the bar. He's like, hey, Tarlo said he was going to make me a drink. Anybody see him? <laughs> <laughs> Oracle said a little bit. I don't know. I haven't seen him. But, uh,. Wanna have a drink, so I'll have one. Hey, yeah. I mean, we I don't know if it's self-serve around here, but uh, it seems like our hosts are uh, busy, so. Uh, there is a woman that will come up and uh, ask oh. if you would like to order something and, you know, offer you. There's a selection of baked goose with cinnamon and artichoke uh, with a glass of rum, like a full meal for four silver pieces. Uh, braised shellfish with mace and onion, glass of cider for the people with more spicy, appreciative palate for three silver, boiled eggs and onions, and a tankard of bitter uh, for eight copper pieces, and baked goose with nutmeg and dried dragon fruit with a glass of mead for two silver pieces. Hey, do you have any of that uh, ale that's made with cherries? I've always wanted to try that. Uh, she'll look at you straight like uh, ale made I've from heard, cherries. Yeah, it's something I've heard about. It's always been something that's fascinated me. I've Love never, me some cherries, let me tell you. I've never heard of that. We've got uh, we've got cider. It's made from apples. Uh, hey, I'll tell you what. Uh, hey, Ulrich, uh, why don't you get everyone together and uh, uh, dinner's on me. Uh, we'll, we'll take one everything. It's on me. Oh, uh, of course. Right. I'll, I'll be right back with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kabu, yeah, I, it's not going to be the real thing, but uh, from my imagination and what I remember from three months ago, <laughs> uh, Luke is just going to snap his fingers, and an exact replica of the uh, cherry stout or whatever the cherry alcohol we had. There were a few uh, different, but session. cherry stout was one of them. Yes, the oh. cherry, the cherry stout, <laughs> an exact. Replica taste everything is going oh. to appear in front of him. Oh, I have been looking forward to something like this for a while. Oh, thank you. Take a sip. That's kind of disappointing. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, <laughs> dinner's on me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, everyone just kind of saddle up. Uh, yeah, there's a thank you for first night out. Eh? That's very generous. Thank you. Yeah, I, I had some coin from before, so I, I got this. Drury heading over. Or will make sure Rory gets the free food. <laughs> if Rory would. It's seeing Ulrich would. He's heading over. He's like, hey, come on. He's going to pay for it all. He takes everything. He just bought one and everything. He's crazy. I love him. Yeah, he seems all right. All right. What are you talking to the ladies about? Yeah, he's just uh, smart. Wanted to get smart drawn. That's great. Can I see it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. He'll pull it out. It's a picture of a young woman uh, who's got uh, long, dark hair. Looks very similar uh, to Rory's. Uh, she's a half work, high cheekbones, just beautiful, brilliant smile with eyes that crinkle just perfectly at the corners. Wow. Yeah. She's very pretty. Yeah. Hamish will uh, see this and just give Rory a look. Right. Well, I mean, she's like related to you. Kind of looks similar. I mean, I don't mean to say that because you're a half orc. I believe it. Like I said, 
God, my brothers oh. are half orcs. They all look, you look, don't look a spot like them. I yeah, appreciate keep... that, Ulrich. <laughs> appreciate that. But, you know, there is a resemblance. Yeah. Uh, it's my sister. It's Tegan. Tegan? That's a lovely name. Yeah. But she's a lovely person. Matt, can I have it back? Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry, 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 sorry. Thanks. Well, should get that somewhere safe so food don't get on. Right, this is the plan. We've got this pouch here, see? That's clever. That's clever. See, this is why... You're all the brains of the operation. Yeah, let's not get crazy, Ulrich. You did kick in a door. Right, well, like, that was a smart thing to do. They were talking about, like, a ten minutes of sitting around doing nothing. Right. Fate won't let us sit for long, so... so well... Get this free food, eh? It's a very lofty concept you started patting out there, but you said free food, so let's do that. Talk about fight later, I suppose. If it if that's what it has in store, I suppose. It's a lot of words, all Rick. Why are we off to talk? I do you like work out? I like that very much. How do you work out? Do you just do punches and kickies all day? Or do you do weapon stuff? Just, you know, keep it simple. Go for a run. Right. Ah. Yeah, some pull-ups. Right, right. Squats. Natural, some... natural physique. Just gonna... <laughs> Curls. <laughs> yeah. You ever get any heavy rocks? Just kind of. No, lift that, them? that does seem more your thing, or Rick. Does seem <laughs> quite more your thing. But it seems to. I mean, working. You know what? Tell you what. You man for competition. Hey. Well. <laughs> my mum says it's uh it's from my father's side, eh? but yeah. Right. Well, how about? How about tomorrow? We see who can run the fathers before they, before they puke. Before they puke. That is, that is quite the situation. All right. Well, I promise not to laugh too hard when you lose. If that's what fate has in store, then who am I to tell it any different? Hmm. Same the fate a lot. Free food. Yeah. All right. None of it's cherries, I hope. He's asking about them. I don't have any. You're good. No cherries in this menu. <laughs> Roy at this I'd... point can smell them. <laughs> well, nope. I just gotta say, I'm really happy I stumbled upon y'all. Uh, it's 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 great to actually have uh, to be working with people who actually know what they're doing and who have a little bit of brains in their head. Uh, so uh, believe me, the last people I've worked with didn't work out this well. So uh, uh, consider the meal. Thanks. Yeah, you know, it's a uh, team building. You know, nothing nothing builds a team better than a full stomach. You know. Right. They said I'll just you... take mine back over there. It's nice seeing you all. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey. Hey. That he's talking about fight. I don't know what that's about. He might have too much to drink. Yes, Tarlo. What is the weather like? Hmm. Good um, evening. It's uh, cool because it's early spring. But other than that, it's quite pleasant. Uh, it's obviously much cooler t like towards the edge of the forest where the mist is swirling about. Is it clear skies? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Is it? It is. Why is it interesting? <laughs> <clears throat> a moonlit walk back to the creepy hag house. Say what now? Yep. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh, just a little investigation for his own Hold purposes. Hold on, I've got to roll a decision, Tarlo. Oh boy. I miss Tarlo. <laughs> Tarlo is about to be missing, isn't he? Tarlo, you're definitely gonna notice three shapes uh, wandering about, poking about the cabin in the moonlight. 
three shapes. Do they remind me of those possible kettle dogs? They do not. They appear to be uh, be older women. <laughs> Would I possibly have an inkling of an idea? Roll a history check. For based me. on what Roll a history has, check for has me. happened. Roll a history 17. Check for me. Yeah, uh, you definitely are suspicious of any time uh, there's three older women, especially when the creature cords that you fought earlier uh, might have been what's commonly referred to as a hag spawn, thereby implying the presence of hags to oh. spawn. Yes. Oh no, we grendled them. Hmm. <laughs> Kind of noticing them. Roll a stealth for me. Twenty-three. You are so lucky. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So tucking away into the shadows of the forest, staying oh. out of the moonlight, you are able to watch them. Not. I. I won't stay for long. I'm not gonna. Uh, Tarlo's. Carlo's not stupid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He just goes for moonlit walks and forests that are heavily You heavily will and, hear them inhabited by Fae. at each other. They seem very unhappy with what they've found in that cabin. I'm. Uh, I would, they am are I going... casting about the cabin, inspecting for tracks, sniffing, it seems like. Uh, if it sounds and or looks like that, I'm going to dip. Yep. <laughs> They definitely seem to be investigating what happened. Um, and I, so they look like old ladies. Mm -hmm. so. cool. I mean, it was just cool. moonlight that you were looking cool, at. Cool, 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 cool. No, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, knowing that. Mm hmm. Probably try to go back to the car and one last time and see if pink shines there. <laughs> Still. Nope. Not okay. there anymore. Damn, I've overstayed my welcome. <laughs> too too boring. Were the three hags not enough to tell you that? <laughs> they were the three best hags that anyone could have. Um I think eventually. Carl would make his way back, but so late at night, he probably wouldn't even bother to go into the inn. Just gonna tuck away in the horse stable here, or? Oh no, he's gonna do 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 do. Do 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 do. What does that mean? I don't. Yeah, what's <laughs> do 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 do? Use your uh, breath to he's, me. <laughs> he's going to. Go away. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. He's going to just dip right on out. Mm, for the most part. Okay. All right. Is yep. anyone else doing anything? Lenore, what are you up to? Uh, she's probably still just hanging out with the group and staying around the group. Okay. Yeah. Luke, just on that point. <laughs> Luke would walk up to Lenora, seeing that she is, she or they is kind of off in distance themselves, herself. Um, and we'll walk up. Uh, Lenore. Um, Queen? Thank you for joining us today. Well, I mean, uh, it's part of the job, no? <sighs> yes. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still new to the Harpers. Um, so the job being a part of this organization is still uh, uh, new, uh, tenuous, I suppose. Um, how, how long have you been with the Harpers? Uh, not long, probably as much as you have, honestly. I'm pretty new. What, what brings you into their stead? Well, I guess you could say um, 
I'm looking for someone. Yeah, that seems to be a common sentiment. Um, well, I hope you you find who you are looking for. Um, and in the meantime, if if any of us, if I can offer any help, um, please let me know. Thank you, friend. You have a beautiful bird, by the way. <laughs> Timor is uh, difficult. Beautiful, maybe from a distance, but uh, he did blow up uh, some of our friends today. So that's no. what that was. <laughs> yes, I don't, I don't have a good hold on his uh, capabilities yet. He seems to just kind of act on his own volition. Um, but we will figure it out. Um, yeah. You think so? Yeah. Um, thank you for guarding me again. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to do anything if I had my throat slit while I was in Timor's eyes, so... That's a really very fair concern. Um, no problem. No problem right. at all. Well, uh, please come join us. Uh, this is our celebration, and you're a part of that, so please. All right. I like it. <laughs> Darla! <laughs> Just... Uh, I want to say that everything, like everyone's just around talking to us here this Zoom. <laughs> I mean, it, the guy said he was a bartender. I was kind of hoping to get a drink or some kind of cocktail. Shrinking and gravel uh, sounds as he just <laughs> sets the, all these well lit windows. <laughs> it just seems and yet nobody stopped me. Shrink. Shrink. Uh, his name is Cardio. He's dedicated to the workout. Appreciate it. Right, very important. Um, okay, is anyone doing him. anything else, uh, or should we end things there? Uh, I think Kabu is going to use the last of his uh, magical tinkering, and uh, MP is going to be playing Warren G's Regulate as a medieval version. Mm. <laughs> uh, nice. Okay. <laughs> this is very good. Um, I wish I could play it on stream. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, say la vie. Dang. Um, Okay, but listen, we're all going to listen to some Bardcore after this. I've got a few playlists, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, that will conclude um, session two of season two of Harper Investigations. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Tune in for more every other Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Our next session will be Tuesday, February 2nd, Groundhog Day. Um, so we'll see if you ever actually make it to the hideout or if you're just going to be traveling in that forest over and over again until you die. Um, <laughs> tonight's, tonight's session was based on Lost in the Mistwood by the wonderful Zeke Gonzalez, available uh, by signing up on his website uh, mailing list. Go ahead and do it and you'll get sent a copy. It's awesome. Um, for free. And then I don't know uh, if after that you can get on DMs Guild. Zeke, you should post in the chat what the dealio is. Um, but <laughs> Uh, everything else, uh, I am Luke Locke, and I have been your dungeon master this evening.